listening to OP and Anthony. OP and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. What's up, Brewer? Were you texting me from down the hey, hall? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Jim? I ain't touching you. Doing, man? Well, I'm all right. He's all right now, I think. Better now? We think. No, I'm good. It's just my voice is gravelly. Well, what what happened to you? I had like a fucking cough and cold. Do you, what's a whooping cough? Uh, That's what I want to know. What's a whoop? How does one achieve a whooping cough? It's, and what uh, is it? Technically called pertussis, and it's a uh, it's a uh, virus or actually bacteria, and it gets in your uh, upper uh, respiratory and fucks with the cilia in your windpipe and stuff. So you wind up having a cough for like months, <laughs> even once it's gone. It's to me that's right up there with gout. Gout, the, uh, the gout. gout. It's the just gout. When someone gets gout. It, like, consumption. What do you mean you got gout? It's one of those fucking diseases that sound like it's from the 1800s <laughs> or the early 19s. <laughs> Poor Anthony's got the whooping cough. Got the whooping cough. Another whooping cough ac- epidemic. But, the, but yes, yeah. President Wilson is trying to eradicate the whooping cough. <laughs> There's uh, another part to this story. You're out last week, right? Yeah. So I, I go, Brewer, do the fucking show. So. He doesn't do the show because he thinks I got it and ah, I'm still see? doing radio. You know what? The rumor was that I had the whooping cough. Yeah. He's a smart so, man. So Brewer's people came up with some lame-ass excuse, and then Brewer calls me the other day to kind of apologize like, and go, Dude, I thought you had the whooping cough, and there was no way I was coming in. It's fucking to do radio with good, you. For, good for you, Brewer. Not fucking good for him. We could have we used him last week. I would have been here. You know what? would have been here, Like a right? savage. You didn't want people... Uh, Ripping it up. 6 a.m. Bro. This is early, right? Jesus, stupid, I got to right? come in one side of the building. Yeah. I wanted I wanted Starbucks. They got gates shut down on hallways. <laughs> I couldn't get a... Let's uh, get a coffee. I can't even get a coffee. I got to buy from the Pakistanian on 48th Street. <laughs> you want a I'm coffee? I'm touching his co- I got one now. No. no, I'm getting you a Starbucks. I got some serious... You want a Starbucks? Uh, wow, dark that's, magic. That's crazy. Dark magic. Don't drink that shit. I'm getting you Why a Starbucks. Not? This is good. I'm getting you one right the, the fuck now. The big Kenny was, uh, you oh, want yeah. some f- breakfast? You got one coming. Pour that shit out. No, I'd have been happy with I'm that freeze-dried taster's choice. Yeah. Jim Brewer brought in this gourmet <laughs> shit. <laughs> that coffee looks awful, bro. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> looks good. I'm going to... I like it. Mm. I'd snort that. Look at yeah, that. that looks, you left at 5.30 from part. your house? Yes. That's early for you, huh? Yeah, the birds yeah. were up. They were chirping. And that fucked up? The they sun's looking, out now. They were looking at me confused. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing going? up, shithead? <laughs> Kids don't get up for another two hours. What are you doing out about? Christ's sake, your eyes look like piss holes in the snow. What, are you up all night? <laughs> he looks high. You know that. I heard he doesn't do it anymore because he's Mr. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Why would I drive him out? I heard he's doing Opie and Anthony. Good luck getting coffee, faggot. <laughs> Fucking Lily, what the birds are saying every morning. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, and it's light out. It's, yeah, that's weird. We get we get the we get it to be light out at this time of the day for what a month for I about think? a month or maybe two. Yeah, we live our lives in in pitch darkness, but I leave my building and it's light out. That's kind of weird for me. I kind of like most it, of the though. year it's, it's dark. I like it too. I feel like dark I got a head dark. start on everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not bad to be up this early. You get used to it after a while. Feel like I'm in a race and I turn around like you don't even know. I'm hundreds of yards ahead of you. I'm already, I already started, man. Hey, you, know, you're st- you haven't even looked at your kitchen. You're at the starting line. You just put your ass up in the air for that last move before you take off. I'm already down the track. I already paid tolls. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you going to nap later, you think? I go from this, I do some voiceover yo-yo, then I can pit No. I'll probably go to no bed nap. around 7 or 8. Yeah, you're wow. going to have like a What long time day. do you guys go to bed? 10, 15 a.m. for an hour. 3 a.m. I don't know, sometime. And it takes a nap before I take I a nap, bed. though. I take a nap. No, I take a nap like when you I get home. You take a nap home, before you get in. Sometimes when I get home, I'll get home by like 11 o'clock. Yeah, a. 11. A.m. Oh, okay. Then I fucking will sleep until like 6. Okay, so you're daytime sleepers. You're possums. I, uh, I'm a nap guy. 
I'm too old for a nap. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an old possum. You're an old possum. Oh, old possum. Hey, here comes that old possum, <laughs> Anthony, again. A raccoon. On the side of Jericho Turnpike with his teeth all fucking... <laughs> fucking they, every time they get hit by cars, it's right in the mouth, it's apparently. <laughs> fucking possum teeth all over the place. <laughs> I want to know whether his four legs sticking uh, up yeah. is stiff. Yeah, why uh, is that? Why do they stick straight up when they die? That is fucked up, isn't it? Where, and where do they live during the day? Pull up we all we all walked around the woods growing up. Where are these fucking animals sleeping? In a hole. Yeah, but why didn't we never come across them when we were fucking? Thank God, we're scared building our forts and shit. Building your fucking tree yeah, fort, you pick up a piece of wood and that thing goes. Meh. Well, there's possums out there. <laughs> possums, <laughs> bastard. Possums yeah. and raccoons out there. Where are they sleeping? In raccoons. And why haven't we fucking holes. come across them? I think if they, yeah, they're not turtles. They come up at, yeah, in the daytime. Yeah, but when we were up, if we found a hole, rabies. we were sticking our hands in it and oh, shit. Oh, man, that's crazy. We were, though. They're deep. Yeah, they you think they're deep <laughs> underground? They're way deep. <laughs> they're way, I way hope so. underground. I hope so. Too many kids poking at them with sticks. Yeah. I found a possum. <laughs> Don't go near that goddamn thing. My found a possum. They might have rabies and you get shots in your belly button. Get the hell away from there. I love that. I'm not going to get bit. God. <laughs> Get your friends. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta come out. I found a possum in the woods. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Dude, will you faggot? Touch it, faggot. I'm not a fag. Go get a stick. <laughs> Go Tommy, get a stick. Get me a big stick. The universal <laughs> tool of the child. <laughs> yeah. Get me a, a stick. I took care of everything. For fucking <laughs> everything. Archaeology and medicine, whatever you need. Yeah, uh, duty. Go get me a stick. <laughs> Not that one, you fucking dick. Oh, dead bird. Go get me a stick. <laughs> Turn it over. <laughs> that fucking maggots, dude. Check this out. <laughs> fucking sick. Uh, Here comes your sister. Shh. Put it on now. Get thrown on her back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking brewer. I found the possum. You we, shut your mouth. Found a dead bird in Central Islip once when I was living there. and uh, Yeah. Uh, it was like ripped apart from a cat or some shit. And we took it and shoved it in this poor kid's baseball glove. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid turned out to be like he was like the only black kid in the neighborhood. I he deserved it. I think it was a hate crime if it wasn't 1975. <laughs> birds are <laughs> birds are fucking. <laughs> what they called a hate crime in 75? Uh, I don't know what they called that was, it. But that was just being called an asshole. It was just a dick. Yeah, just being a dick. <laughs> Who should we do it to? You know. <laughs> we we all know. I lived in an apartment complex, and there were probably 20 different buildings uh, all, you know, set up in their little apartment building pattern. Yeah. In, uh, and one building. Where's this? Central Islip. CI. Back in the day. And uh, they allocated, like, one or two buildings just for the black people. Like, every other building was all just white people. And two buildings, they put all the black people in. It was amazingly segregated. So you living in low income? Uh, at the time, it was low income, but it wasn't like slum. Like I, yeah, that's what apartment. I grew That's it, my it, first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, Long Island fucking low income. It was, so uh, Long Island low uh, income, okay. and it was, I didn't, it was the first time where I saw a black. Yeah, yeah. I had a little friend that was Puerto Rican. Yep. And I didn't realize until after I left, like, wow, I was really crossing barriers. You were, huh? <laughs> Holy crow. Is oh, yeah. great at playing with the black kids and Puerto Ricans? I'm crazy. I had such a cross-section of humanity that I was living with. There was this, like, Mexican kid yeah. that moved up from New Mexico, and he moved up here. Right. Uh, Adam Yonke. 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 And, uh, yeah, that, his, his uh, sister was the first chick I ever uh, made out with. In the basement of the apartment complex. Uh, you made out with a Mexican? Yeah, she was a Mexican. Nice. Did your dad know this? Uh, probably not, no. Oh, thank no. God. No, Is thank hair God. really soft? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. And then there was, like, the black kid from uh, right. from the um, apartment, the so black you... apartment. And, and then there was, uh, like, right next door with the Nelsons. Right. And, and they had a uh, son in Vietnam. And my brother went and said... Uh, Hi, Mrs. Nelson. How's your boy doing? And she, we never forgot this. She goes, uh, he's not a boy, he's a man. You have to be a man to fight and kill. 
<laughs> Jesus. And it's like, hey, look, I'm seven. <laughs> I'm just trying to say hi. Look, I was just saying hi. He's, I, I'm seven. What? You don't have to bring the horrors of war to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just collecting sticks, looking for dead birds and possums, awesome. man. You got to be a man to fight and kill. <laughs> just going about my day, ma'am. Sorry. He, I remember when he left to go to Vietnam, and there was a big, like, like, to do? send off for him and everything yeah. and he went and, and he was like a real nice guy and everything yeah. and they came back like uh, uh, a few months later at least he came back well no he was came back for leave oh. I don't know if he ever came back for good I think it was another time where my father didn't pay the rent we had to move again oh. <laughs> so so uh, he came back fucking even as a kid I was like what's wrong with him really he had the thousand yard stare man hey, he was like everyone's going hey how are you doing how are you doing and he just kind of was nodding his head and and staring with a half smile on it was scary right he that. yeah <sighs> fucking gone he was constantly yeah. looking for <laughs> oh my god like that yeah he was man he was at looking. every turn man he, he was, was looking, looking for like the wooded areas <laughs> next to the fucking saying. apartment complex. That's what I'm he saying. was taking his daily walks in there. He's like, what's behind that tree over yeah. there? So why aren't you more tolerant if you grew up with some of these people? That's why I'm not. Oh, you learned. saw what happened. You <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mexican bitch fucking dumped me, that whore. She went with my, my friend. She started making out with my friend. And what did, what did the black people do to you back then? Ah, uh, they were beating people up. They didn't beat you up, though. Mm, well, they? not me, but I, I was, you know, I was just, I kept to myself. Yeah. But I was, uh, I definitely felt the, the pressure. Out there in Centerport, I didn't grow up with any black people until uh, junior high was when I started, you know, seeing, oh, yeah, seeing yeah. black people on a regular basis. We were on the borderline oh. of, uh, we were Valley Stream, so we were the borderline of Rosedale, sort of. Oh, yeah. We were all white, and at the end of the block was all black. Right there. Lily, it was on our side, it was called Ocean Avenue. And in the middle of the street, it became Hook Creek Boulevard. On Ocean Avenue, on the Nassau County Long Island, it was paved really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, in the middle of the street, the street. <laughs> was potholes and... <laughs> <laughs> and and cool in the gang and all that. And we really... Uh, we and the road was just chewed up. <laughs> we didn't go across the street or nothing. And, and if it was... Uh, uh, hilarious. You just knew if you weren't on paved road that you were in a bad area. Yeah. Growing and, up on Long Island, you just knew that. And we had wow. the informant. <laughs> Jesus. We had the one guy. Yeah. But his name is Buyer. <laughs> and he was the oldest kid on the street. And he was kind of the guy that would teach us all the hate. He, oh, okay. He'd come around. He's like, fucking these monkeys oh, they're all over the dead don't even let them anywhere they're gonna rape you and steal you they don't look for jobs these animals they belong in jungles they belong searching for animals and treetops to build nests look at them if you watch any news program they're all murdering and killing and, and they're only doing to white people why oh, we should have never let them go that's why holy shit <laughs> you don't even know what he really was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you're and a I, kid. I used to, I, I say to this day, I swear my children's oh. lives, I used to think a Jew was someone that worked on a car lot. I, I, and I'll explain why. Please. Because across the street, now he was full blown German. I swear my kids' lives. This is hilarious. He'd come out and there would be a guy across the street from us. And he, oh, he was annoying because we'd always play stickball. And he was kind of, he was in our way because he was between second and third base and he'd always have the, the hood open and working on the car. And Michael would come out, right? He'd be like, look at the Jew. Look at him. Look at him working on the car. <laughs> you think he would just take your time and be like a normal human and bring it to someone that would fix it, but no, he wants to chew the car up. He wants to buy his own. He wants to buy his own parts and chew it in there and save himself a Jew penny. Look at him working on a car like a Jew. And it was horrible. We would, we would, when his family would come over, he'd come over like there's a whole flock of Jews. Today. You can smell them making their Jew food. 
Oh, we can't even, we can't even leave the block because up the street are the monkeys. <laughs> Look at this. Monkeys and gorillas and orangutans. All over. Where the hell do we live? Holy can shit. a white man be happy? Where's my hoodie? <laughs> <laughs> and and holy so, holy shit. Shit. but growing up, I always thought oh, yeah, yeah. Jew was some guy that worked on his car all the time because he didn't want to break into his shop. I used to drive around wow. in my dad's in the back of the car, and there, if it say like Joe's fix them up shop, like oh they must be Jewish. Why <laughs> <laughs> did you have it wrong? <laughs> and Jewish friends are like, no, you got it all wrong. <laughs> If anything, it's quite the opposite. Holy fuck, man. I, uh, I totally knew, yeah. knew people like that that you were just talking about. Yeah, oh my gosh. He Those was good. I had relatives home. that were like that, though, too. Like Italian, old fucking Italian relatives. Oh, they yeah, would just they talk like that. And no parent would ever bring up that, hey, there's kids around, you know, uncle, whatever his name is. No, like, they wouldn't care. No, because it was normal. Well, right. My mom would. There was a normalcy to that one. Yeah, when you're right. The well, parents. We yeah, up. yeah. 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 Well, the the other thing was <laughs> they didn't know any better. He had a, um, the best was when <laughs> it really riled the neighborhood up because you remember in the eighties the Indians started showing up oh, no. and they would knock on your door and they say I would I would buy your house for cash. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And and everyone's like, well, it, I mean, we can really use the cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, your pension is coming, and we can go to Florida. And I mean, they're. They seem like nice people. Can I see what he was wearing? Jesus Christ, how am I? Fucking monkey. Playing that goddamn monkey music. And it was such a spectacle uh, when they moved in. Wow. Holy shit. But everyone was all right because they didn't, they didn't get anyone's business. But when the Colum... Everyone hated the Egan's. The Egan's were the first one to leave our street. Oh. And they sold... To, as Michael Byers, you know, he's moving in. They're half black. <laughs> half black, those Irish dirty monkeys. <laughs> Eating their cabbage and taters. Look at you. And there were, there were Colombians <laughs> that moved in there. And they had a uh. dog. And it was right after, right around when Scarface came out. So he had everyone oh, convinced man. they're nothing but drug cartels. <laughs> drug cartels. And that dog's probably got heroin in his ass. <laughs> Don't go near it. We need to kill it the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking this street back. <laughs> and we really contemplated burning a cross. Wow. wow. Yeah, we're like, we're taking it back to the 40s and 50s. We're going to burn a cross in them Colombians. Holy shit. And he was more pissed because one of the Colombians was dating a black guy that had to walk down our street. Uh-oh. And one of the greatest days was they broke up and the chick went after him with a car. And he was hiding behind a telephone pole. And the Colombian chick kept driving up and wouldn't let him walk. Every time he started running, she'd drive up on the sidewalk, try to get him. Oh, so, man. of course, Michael was like, well, now I'm for the Colombians, and that's what we got to do to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, <laughs> we, we even, <laughs> I swear to God, we that's great. poisoned, we tried to poison the Colombian dog one day. Wow. Because we were so... Who's we? It Not was, you personally. It was like Just the neighborhood. six of us. All right. It was six or seven of us. And what happened was we had to get in we had to get in back of Jeffrey's backyard. Jeffrey's house lined up with the Colombians and there was a really a little wooden picket fence between the two of us. So whenever we'd go in Jeffrey's backyard, because he had a great field in his backyard, he was the only one who had a really good yard. So to get in his backyard, we had to walk along and this dog would hop up on the wooden fence, and the thing would sway back and forth, and he'd be up in your face. And you just, his face was, his face was along your face. So, so we, we felt we were on his own. So like, we, we got to take the street, but this Colombian dog, we got to do something. So little Tommy was like, let's poison him. <laughs> so he, so he, <laughs> Lord of the Flies shit when it you were really a kid, was. man. It really was. So uh, we, you were just on your own out there. Yeah. We walked around Fuck. the corner, stayed yeah. on our side, the white side. Uh. 
<laughs> and we went into the uh, deli. There was a little deli and a candy store and a bar. And the candy store, we, in the deli, they, we said, we, we want some dog biscuits. I was like, oh, you, go, you guys got no dog, I need dog biscuits. We get dog biscuits, peanut butter, hot pepper. Oh, no. Um, salt and all this. Um, Tommy's father had a, was really Italian, so he grew peppers in his yard. Of course. And one hot pepper. So we spruced it. And we're like, all right, here's a game plan. Here's how we're taking this Colombian dog down. <laughs> and you know what's really funny? I was fat. So whenever I had to go in the yard, I had to put my back against the wall because. Oh, man. You wouldn't say I was it. too fat. So I had a, oh, and that dog would be like an inch from my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Just screaming. Right, and everyone's like, suck it in. I'm like, I am. <laughs> suck it in. <laughs> so oh, we, man. this one day, and of course you always send the weakest kid, like, Elmo, throw him the, when he comes, you throw the dog biscuit. The hierarchy. Well, this dog, we throw it in, and the dog went for the bait, started chomping up the things. We head in the backyard, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, mission accomplished. But then, first, the dog starts sneezing. Like, you hear him like, <laughs> <laughs> the pepper, I guess. Then he started, and then he started shitting all <laughs> over the place. Holy and then shit. One by one, they were coming out. That in a minute. When, it, if, when you're a child, you never even heard another language, and you just hit that. Like, oh my god, the, the war's gonna break out! We started a war! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey's mother's like, what the hell did you do to the dog? We didn't do nothing, we, didn't, we don't know what happened. That dog, um, he shit for hours. Wow. They took him to the vet. And we didn't tell we we mum was the word. It was just like good fellas. No was it cut? Yeah, no matter what anyone said we went we just went in the yard and the dog started sneezing and crapping his brains out and wow. and, and we also don't know what happened to him on fourth of July. Oh shit. <laughs> it was a bizarre day it I don't know what happened. <laughs> Those were good days. Yeah. Man. And then you report to Michael and you're like, You guys did good. You did good. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to do. You had to live by the streets of the law. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. Kenny. See, there Dude, you call me. That's, that's fucking, fucking crazy. And it's, but it's so typical of that shit. Yeah. Like, like, it's that's... so normal. Yeah, that was normal. normal. It was fine. It, it was normal. Fine. Yes. You, would, you would leave your house and just take on the world. I would yeah. be in prison yeah. right now, being yeah. six years old for, like, You eight. would just all just... Oh, hate crime. You yeah. would all just try to whatever. figure it out on your right. own. With no fucking parents. No guidance. Great. No fucking parents. The only guidance you had was from, yay, fuck me. <laughs> that was your guidance. Look at that you across the street. Those, Chewing up his car. Those guys stood out so much more than anybody that tried to teach you something good and nice. Yes. Right. Like, I don't remember anyone trying to teach me a nice life lesson, but I remember, hey, pass the nigga toes. You know, at the fucking, at dinner. At a nice fucking dinner. <laughs> we out of here. Yeah, we had Past uh, fucking what? You got walnuts, some nigger toes there. What else? You? It's like oh, really? <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! I I am not ashamed to say. Well, I'm ashamed to say, <laughs> but I had the same thing. A lot of oh, us yeah. will never admit that, but every white person in the world knows exactly what you just exactly. said. Exactly. What is a nigger toes? The big brown nut. The big brown nut in the mixed like, nut. Brazil nut. <laughs> I think it's called the Brazil nut. <laughs> It was a big thing, and, and they just called them nigger toes. How crazy is yeah. this? And then my, my mother, every fucking time I'd get, for my birthday, it's supposed to be a nice day for me and everything. It's right. my fucking birthday. Right. I would get cards with money in it from my relatives, and I'd be like, uh, Mom, I want to go to the store. I want, she goes, you're going to spend it right away? Wait, you, you act like you're nigger rich. <laughs> I'm like, my, my, <laughs> just your birthday, my birthday, money. I just wanted to... <laughs> Buy something, and all of a sudden there's a racial fucking <laughs> uh, cataclysm going on in my house. I kind of escaped all that for whatever really? reason. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because well, my... you Suffolk County. Yeah, Southport. Uh, we were very. I just... was Suffolk too, but we were just border. Uh, I was Italian, so <laughs> you're right. I grew up in a you know one of those clam towns. I don't know. I wonder. I don't know why I escaped. I escaped it so yeah. much. Do you think other? You must have black listeners. Uh, did wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, they don't like to admit black. It, but... 
There had to be like the way we talked. We were the like, black hey, give it the nigger toes. Or, yeah. There had to have been. Oh, absolutely. Every, every, every single Every black person rat. I've ever hung out with yeah. always has like, you know, the white and the thing. And the, they they oh. can't stay. At the end of the day, there's someone in the family can't stay. Stand white people no matter yeah, what. Yeah, of course. I wonder what they would you know, say, like about us. I'm well, dying to you know, know what, well, what happened at their house. Yeah. Well, let's I go, also let's think it's funny. It's Not, hilarious. You know, back then I look back and like how crazy, ridiculous. Let me let me grab yeah. that. It's so absurd. It's funny. Let yeah. me grab that idea. And if you uh, can answer Jim Brewer, give us a call, please. I would love to hear that. Yeah. I would to too. bounce this out slightly. <laughs> Just oh yeah, well, you know why? Yeah. But the, the thing is, like, I think it happens with all races. Yeah, I really of do. It does. But for that some is... reason, the white guy is guilty of it more yeah, than we anybody. We admit, you know what? No, we'll admit it. We'll at least right, right. say what it was. Well, and... that's what it is. It's like yeah. we, we, it's it was the time too. It really was, and it sounds like an excuse, but no, 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 you're right. That's exactly what happened. It's amazing we grew up with any tolerance whatsoever. Uh, every yeah. time you watch the news, did you did your father not go? Pfft, Look at every single one of them. Jesus Christ. Every single one of them. Son of a bitch. Isn't That's my father. One? Let me guess. He killed somebody. Yeah, my father would watch the news, sit there with his tarryton. Right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That figures. That figures. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I'm out working. Are you dead? <laughs> Are you dead? Really? I went to work with you once. We hung out at Whiskey Reds all day. You and Jimmy McNally drank right. while I sat there eating peanuts at but, the table. But he was working. Yeah, but he was working. I like those people. See, now that cracks me up, too. You're right, because that's what they, they would go, I'm out there working. And you're right. You go to work with a kid. I uh, remember going with uh, my dad, and... He finished doing the garbage by one, two, <laughs> and he went to the 600 pub and played dice <laughs> for hours. And, exactly and, my dad. And now he's drinking and playing dice. And I don't know what's going on. And all I remember is he handed me a dollar. And he said, don't tell your mother. So, of course, you know, I went around the corner where the candy store was, and I bought the three-pack of baseball cards. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> Those were huge. I mean, oh, yeah, come oh, on. Yeah. It was like 99 cents when I could buy a three-pack. <laughs> I ruled. So I came back with my three-pack shining that thing like it was a brand-new bike. And my mother is like, where would you get all this baseball cards? Oh, shit. So I went, Dad gave me a dollar. When he was playing the dice. Oh, <laughs> oh, you, oh you idiot. You and all I spot. heard, all I heard was, <laughs> and I go into the living room, and he's just shaking his head. Oh, like, yeah, I tell you. And my son's a fucking rat. <laughs> but then he'll right. And then he'll turn around like, ah, look at this, because they don't work. They're lazy. <laughs> They're lazy. He's playing dice. And on the other days, he'd shake down all the merchants that, that had to pay for the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Christmas time. We go, uh, hey, uh, you know, Clancy, uh, you know, the holidays are coming up. Guy come out with a really nice bottle of J&B. <laughs> J&B. And he go, oh, that's a not, ooh, shh, that's a, the problem is there's three of us on the truck. <laughs> 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 a total shakedown. <laughs> right. Shake it down. Oh, these guys, are, look at these monkeys on television. They don't Holy even try shit. to get where they're stealing. <laughs> You're shaking people shaking down. down. Yeah, yeah. And my father, same so, fucking thing. Cause so funny. He, he was working, uh, he was, uh, working with vending machines. So, oh, right. So he, Huge. I, all I remember for the entire time he was uh, getting the money from the vending machines was going shopping with my mom and her paying for everything in change. <laughs> Fucking just uh, quarters, nickels, and dimes. She would just lay it out. Here's the food. <laughs> Hold yeah. on a second. How much is that? <laughs> yeah, she would just. <laughs> uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> just counting change. And then my father gets fucking fired for that because, you know, he was stealing the money. Right. And, of course, it was their fault. Of course it fucking is. Fucking asshole. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we got to take a call, man, because uh, Brewer got this going. Oh, Big Mo in uh, Maryland. What do you got, buddy? Jim Brewer in studio, obviously. You always know when Brewer's here. Yes. I love it. Morning, boss. How you hey. doing, Jim? Hey, morning. How are you, Mo? Great, great. Hey, uh, I'm a long-time listener. I just wanted to share a story about how when I was a kid, uh, we used to watch Little Rap. And uh, my grandfather used to sit, whenever he would watch it, or he would come in the room, we'd watch it, he'd sit there and point out all the racial shit to it that we never...
ever saw, ever, ever saw. Look at that shit. Oh, look at that. He wiped the sweat off and it flames it on the on the white stove. You let him watch this race of bullshit. We just sitting around laughing, watching watching little rascals. But as soon as it got older, I went to the military and uh, I married someone that was white. And I brought him around. Boy, he changed completely, completely. But whenever they went up, whenever anybody wasn't around, white people, they just got damn crackers in Cracker? I know. Is that the big thing? Well, they went cracker, cracker and hockey, right? Cracker and hockey. Hockey was pretty bad. Hockey was huge. Devil. devil. We're the devil. The devil. white devil. The devil. I was from the South, so he, uh, it was all, all, it was all cracker. It's cracker hat, but... This phone sucks. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, thank you, hey, sir. I sort of love I, phone. I yeah, got the whole DVD thing of the Little Rascals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you saw the sweat, right? Oh, yeah, sweat. yeah, yeah. But there's also one where, where well, you, you gotta explain goes, the, you got to explain the sweat one for people. Cause the, in the Little it. Rascals, Stein, they're, they're doing a, a cooking when they're all... Yeah. Every, the famous one when they're all cooking and the cake is going... Well, Stiney, the black kid, wipes his forehead, and he kind of like, phew, does one of those motions with his hand, and the, and they show sweat. They show black sweat. It hits the white stove. Hit the yeah, white the wall. wall. <laughs> but how the fuck did they get away? The oh, other back one then? Please. is so fired now. The other one was... Um, <laughs> see, now, but, but my dad says something interesting, too, when he's watching the clothes. He goes, we all yes, dude. Those are poor people clothes. They aren't just black people clothes. That's what we all are, even in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> my um, Stymie on one of them goes, they, they said, uh, I think it's the same episode. Maybe same episode where they go, uh, you know, well, how are we going to learn how to cook? And he goes, well, my father's a cook in the in the state penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> and there's other ones where he's like, I can't do it. My father's in jail. So it's yeah. just stuff like that. Wow. It's just a little stuff like that. Yeah, where yeah. Like, All right, did he say that? Because, oh, did he just say that? Did he really say that? Well, how how Roach was fucking horrible with children, like obviously the racial thing, but he put little fucking two year olds up on chairs that were precariously perched. There was no green screen, motherfucker. No, the kid was up there. <laughs> he was fucking up there. You're right. When yeah. I, when I've been watching, there was a couple episodes like, whoa, like this, what is he letting these kids this kid do? Could totally fall and get killed right here. Oh, Stymie had to run past the barn that was on fire, and the flames would shoot out. Oh yeah, that's what right. What you think they fucking put green, green screen, screen that shit? No. You think they composited the shot? No, Stymie man. ran past fire. I was nervous, folks. No worry, <laughs> ma'am. We've got another bucket of biscuits heading your way. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, fucking great. All right, action. <laughs> they didn't care. Wow, that's great. Well, this is a great <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> great start to the show. Fucking Brewer is here. Where are you yeah. playing? Heavy Metal Comedy Show, June 8th at the Crocodile Rock Cafe in Allentown, PA. Oh, you got to do the Bear Man show. The Bear Man. Yeah, he's the, the big, rock guy? Yes. Yeah, he's the big radio show up there. Is it Lehigh Valley? I don't know. He's Allentown, I believe. He's, he's Allentown. Yeah, he's in that area. And <laughs> I did radio with him way back in the day in Buffalo. What is that? What is that? Allentown. Oh. Clang, clang. Clang. Any song with a clang. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there, there we, we go. go. I hated this Long song. Long Island Zone, Billy it. Joel. I hated this song. This was a bad one. Boy, if we ripped Billy Joel an ass on this show that for the past fun. month. When yeah. Joe DeRosa was in, that was oh, fun. Yeah. Billy Joel. Listen, all dates for Jim Brewer. JimBrewer.com. B-R-E-U-E-R. -E -E People get that uh, wrong all the time. JimBrewer.com. We're going to eat and uh, we're going to continue, all right? Of course. All right. Serious XM. You're listening to Obi and Anthony. Whether or not you're paying attention is another question.
<laughs> I guess Trent Reznor is 47 today. We got Jim Brewer in wow. studio. <laughs> Fuck. We should never have taken a break. Oh, man. No, we did Fucking another. laughing my we, balls off. We over just here. did another 15 minutes, or, or certainly Brewer did most of the 15 minutes. What, what, what are you looking at there, Nothing. Brewer? Nothing. Mm. What, 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 what? No, what, what? Just, just looking at all the, uh, the news, ladies. news ladies. They are. Uh, I think Fox has the best uh, news ladies. Yeah. And then I still, uh, I hope he's not fucking giving me anything on this CNBC uh, chick. Well, she has no chin. Uh, there's there's the something problem. there, though. Her face what is too was squishy name? from uh, the nose I, down. Let me say, uh, and she's got googly eyes. They're a little too far apart. There's she's, something going on. I she's said, so close to being really hot. I said she's probably got like a really hot sister. Yeah. You know, because she's one of those that like, her, uh, she's almost, almost but there. she might be goofy cute. Yeah, no, I understand. Like some girls are goofy yeah. cute. Goofy cute. See, it's Amanda. That's not her. Amanda Drury. Yeah, that's her. She looks way better on the internet. Amanda Drury. Than on TV. Maybe they stretched out her face. I'm gonna get me some jewelry for who's, the picture. Who's the one up on top? Oh, she, we are I obsessed with her. We hate her. Uh, not her. Yeah. No, the blonde. She's the blonde lady. She's some Russian broad. She's on the She's morning show. Mika. I, Mika. I, I break you enough. She. <laughs> well, I Brewer. She stinks. Yeah, she stinks. Terrible. Stinks. 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 Well, She's I, horrendous. I told. I told Anthony. Or we all fair. I really, since I just stopped watching all news. Yeah. And you, when you're able to walk away, your life's way better, right? Not only is your life better, <laughs> and then walk back and watch, yeah. you realize how goofy it all is. How fucked up it is, I yeah. Can, like Fox News, here's what they're classic for. What did I say? Everything's either terrorist, or what did I say the other one was? Or uh, it's terrorist, or Obama's, and that. <laughs> so, like, for instance, they'll say, there's a wildfire over there in California, and the government will tell you, but the terrorists are out there <laughs> lighting fires. <laughs> These goddamn sand monkeys are heading to Oregon. <laughs> Don't you dare think for one second. You're listening to Fox News. Fox News. We go after the educated, the ones that eat red meat, the ones that think they're super smarter than you know. Ooh. You are. You've got no blacks in your neighborhood. You're Fox. <laughs> Don't look now, but Anthony from Opie and Anthony has the whooping cough. I think it's interesting that Anthony mm. has such a strong, valuable voice on that show, and he also is one of the leaders and supporters of Fox. And I don't know, you know, he's out in the woods. What they won't tell you is that the terrorists <laughs> put some whooping cough in his goddamn some whooping coffee. Cough in his coffee. It's a sudden that the whooping cough in his underneath is getting too big. Big, too powerful. He must shut his mouth. I am tired of him and Jim Norton talking about the terrorists and the world too. Right. Send him to the terrorists. <laughs> and then you go to the top one. Right? MSNBC. Like, MSNBC. Why do we have to show so much hate? <laughs> Why can't we? Do, who cares where you stick your penis or your private parts and Negroes? Can't we all just have a parade and... And have a big happy show at all the most power. Maybe we can all build a fort together. Yeah. Why is everyone hating? God, God damn. You nailed it. Fucking yeah, nailed yeah. It. There's no real middle ground, and everything is panic. Just and fucking I, panic. And I purely think it's the genius of of marketing of government market i really i don't care what you say i really do believe it's no different i said it's thousands of dollars. it's professional wrestling yeah where the head of professional all right here's listen the blacks and the whites are talking way too much they're starting to barbecue together <laughs> and here's the problem with the corporate world and all that now that the blacks have we've let them in they're starting to get along with the whites and we can't have that can we show a nigger on tv <laughs> beating up a white guy or something or some white guys beating up there. Can't we stir this up? That's a great idea, sir. Let's oh, God. Get the guy with the wig. Ah, he's out of style. We need a new nigger. We need a new nigger. And then they, they like Holy AT and T. Do you remember years ago when when what was it? Uh, was it AT and T? I don't know what you're what, getting at. Yeah. What what I'm getting at is yeah. 
A commercial? Years ago, no, years ago, there was one phone company. Oh, right, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And they're like, we like have Bell to. Bell Telephone. Uh, right. We have to break this up. There's no monopolies in America. America is for competition. Who's to say that they're like, okay, we're going to call you Fox. And your agenda is just keep hating the blacks and the terror. Keep everyone scared to death. You, we, you get the gay audience, and you get the very happy, and we just want peace audience, and show a lot of animals with cruelty. You just be straight lined, and, and we'll just keep everyone bickering and all that jazz, and we'll just keep them all in just check track once in a while. It's a and it's really, it's just like that phone company where they said, all right, no monopolies. We have to split up. And it went, okay, well, how are we going to... Uh, that's like me and you... All right, that's like you two. I've been working together for how many years now? And they say, listen, you two can't be together. You cannot be an open... And you right. look at each other and go, you're right. We should split up. Wink, wink. I'll be Anthony Hates OP Radio. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be OP Anthony No Talent Radio. <laughs> and your agenda is always to prove he's got no talent. And your agenda is always to prove, like, who the fuck is OP? <laughs> And you this, have your Opie, and your and meanwhile the two of you always having dinner in secret corners. <laughs> going, can you believe how much money they're paying us and how much we're getting away oh, with man. this? This is hilarious. I like the idea. First of all, that's absolutely <laughs> that would be fun. That would actually be it's a lot of fun. Funny. Radio, and then you come back Chris, two years from now, and you night, but then you break up again. That's exactly you know what? what they're doing. I'm we, telling you. Well, we we do know some of these people, and we do also know that they do fucking do oh, exactly they hang that. Out. They I hang out a little bit at the do. bar and have a drink course, or two here, when here I, and there. When I listen. When I saw years ago, when, when, what was Clinton? I think that's the last time I got involved with politics, where, yeah. I, where I tried to legitimately follow it. Right. I read Rush Limbaugh books, and uh, for a while, I was like, yeah, uh, ditto, ditto. And, <laughs> you were a ditto head? I, I drank the juice, <laughs> and I was drinking all the juices, and... and I realize how they trap you, how they manipulate you, how they sell you on the, on the fake agenda and the character that they play. But at the at the end of the day, when I saw Clinton, all right now Clinton was like you know Bush, you know, animals, and Bush is Clinton, and then you see like oh they're all together for a dinner, yeah, giggling and cackling. If I hate you, I'm not having dinner with I'm you. I'm not having dinner right. with you. I don't care what yeah. your politics are. I think they're disturbing. And then Clinton, and it, Clinton teams up with Bush Sr. After yeah, his presidency. That's what I saw. Which goes to your point. That's what I saw. Yeah. So they're all hanging out. So you can't tell that's me. Fucked up. You, you can't tell it. me at the end of the day they're not all like, okay, I'll go play this character and you play and you got to sell this agenda. And they're all making trillions of dollars. Right. And they play on the minds of us dummies who go, well, I'm very well educated and I'm a Fox News guy. Well, I'm very open and you guys are full of hate and I'm a CNBC guy. Well, I'm kind of neutral and I'm CNN. It's for me. Maybe I'm... No, I like your point I'm of view. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I've I'm done, just saying. I've done Fox shows where we've had uh, like a, a staunch conservatives and, and hard left liberals, and they're just duking it out on the show. And literally, when the show ends, we what? went to the bar. And we're fucking drinking, hanging out, laughing Don't our asses off. They're going to not invite no, you back. They, they all know. <laughs> no, but they, Everyone they knows. all know. <laughs> Everyone knows that gag. Well, well they know the gag. When I was on Hannity... He, yep. Oh my, I said something like that. I said, really? Who really cares? I said something to the point of, he brought up some point, like, does that really matter at the end of the day? What? And he looked at me with a smirk. Like, he's like, wow, you're not buying into this? <laughs> and and yet you're pulling. I, I felt like I pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Like, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. He's like, that was really funny and good. <laughs> he kept going like, do more Joe Pesci. Oh, shit. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah, that's Hannity. Dude, that's, 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 that's 14 Hannity. years old, bro. Yeah. No, we're moving on. Let's, let's stick to the subject. <laughs> Can we play the Hannity thing from last night? Oh, Ant yeah, yeah. did Hannity last night. I was on Hannity you last did? night. Yeah, Ant yeah, does a good job on those shows. I like uh, doing I, those. They're fun. I have no desire to do the, the political uh, TV show. But Hannity just wants, my thing. Hannity wants Opie on really bad. And he, and so he, every time I'm on, he, beats he just me up. Beats up Opie. So listen to this. A quick clip uh, from last night. Can't wait to hear this. And tonight on a great, great American panel, he's the co-host of the Opie and Anthony show. Opie's the socialist communist on the show. <laughs> he, Anthony's the conservative on XM Satellite Radio. Anthony 
Comey is here, is uh, back. I don't even know your last name. It's Comey. You, you hit it. Yeah, all right. uh, he's, yeah. he's obsessed with Call Me a Commie and uh, a liberal <laughs> and a that's socialist. That's what got I don't, to do that. But see, I, 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 and I say this every time, I'm not voting in the, the he, next yeah, election. He, I've never voted well, for the presidency. A communist, I'm not an vote. Obama supporter. All I said, this is where this started really fast was when uh, Obama was coming up. You know, people like, there's no fucking way we would elect a black president. And all I said on the radio was like, no, nah, something is happening here. We're go Obama is going to be president. I said that a year and a half before it happened. Yeah. And then maybe I bought into it a little bit, sure. But quickly realized he's the same, same shit we've had before. Dude. Same shit we've they, had before. I don't like anybody that's the words, running. Their, this is where their genius play comes from. They have created words... That immediately you're labeled with, right? right yeah, with yeah. any and it's and here's here's the hypocrisy of it all. Yeah. I can go on stage and say, "Oh, you faggot," and I'm gonna get lynched, right, for saying faggot, not even meaning a homosexual no. thing. It's just, right. and I've been told, like, dude, don't say faggot tonight because the head of blah blah blah. I'm like, Ugh. but I explain what the I'm just telling you, don't say faggot. Oh, okay, God. all right, no worries, but. They could go this liberal, this <laughs> commie. commie. I think I was called the commie. This anti-American, <laughs> this pig, right. this hippie. Right. So you're you're. What is the difference? There's no difference. Yeah, yeah. But they're allowed to get away with it because it's more of an educated style. It's a little more highbrow. A, it's highbrow. <laughs> like when and it's a nice word. It's it's we, really just saying this faggot. We've said it for years, man. Yeah. How you These use faggots. faggot? How you use the word faggot? If you've done it your entire career, well, I've never yes. thought gay. No, never. Because as we a know guy, you just understood what that meant growing up. It's right. Just a, uh, another way so, of calling somebody a fucking. You know, you're pussy. You're, you're worse. You're not you're coming worse. out tonight. You're, coming you're a faggot. Out. Right. right. Yes. There's, yes. So then, um, what kind of shoes you wear? What you faggot? I know, what right? Fuck, dude. Here's how he continued. You got to take a break. We'll come. How's your communist partner doing? Uh, he's still sitting there, uh, I guess, hoping that Obama gets reelected. He's going to kill me tomorrow, isn't he? <laughs> I can't wait to uh, meet You know him. what? <laughs> we we know what the real deal is, Sean. We know. <laughs> we know. All right. Wow. Wow. The Great American Panel. Straight ahead. Way to stick up for me, Jesus. Uh, Even his name life. is great. I got to start <laughs> realizing who my real enemy is. <laughs> the real enemy. You know how I feel. I don't fucking give a fuck if Obama's in or out. I don't care enough. I don't, I don't care enough to be who on cares? those shows. I'm certainly not a communist. If you had to vote for Obama or Romney, who would you vote for? Oh, um, my God, I know who I had to. If I had to, I'm starting to lean, uh, believe it or not, uh, Romney. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. A Let me bit. in. Wh why? But I, I don't, don't know, want it. I don't know either one. I'm from, I'm from Bulgaria. My, my, Explain to me why. My biggest one or the other. My biggest problem. Mm. Uh, I I get really mad when uh, you know people say I'm not doing my fair share. Yeah. I do not I understand was, what you say. Why do you pick the Romney? I don't like Romney or Obama. It's white. Though. I'm what? saying. <laughs> I'm saying if a gun was to my head, yeah. I, I would probably lean that. Believe but do I? But, but I don't have I. enough passion to argue my point or care enough to talk about it on stupid Hannity's uh, show. It's not my <laughs> my my thing. Yeah. But I don't want him calling me a fucking communist or saying I'm voting for Obama because it's not true. I will again not vote. He's just I'm a not you. vote guy. He's trying to get you on the show. He's have you ever voted for real? Taunt you. I voted once my whole life. What for? And who? I voted for Giuliani. Back oh, in like 90, deal. 90, whatever. Uh, 90, because I wanted to, you know what, of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I voted because I, I never, started knowing him and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yeah, I'm voting for Julian. Yeah, yeah, he came to right. a game. He came to see me do stand up. That's cool. Yeah, I wanted to vote for, I remember in my building on the west side at a voting booth, I went in there, voted for Giuliani. I never voted. <laughs> That is no. a fact. I and then I realized, voted my I think how life. dumb it, here's another thing, here's my take on <laughs> I think, I think voting too, I could be crazy, mm. but I think voting is really just a popular, I don't think they really count votes, they see, <laughs> is there enough of a landslide that the people will revolt? Otherwise, we're going to, oh, 
Guess, we'll just pick whoever we want. Really, at the end of the day, how do you really know? I mean, come oh, on, no. electronics and I, can, give me a break. The, the populace is well, not really going to know. Give me a know. break. I, I, and this is what I told. This is. I, I don't know if I told you. This, I know I've told you this before, but I'll say it again. This is what I learned. I, I learned politics. Anytime you vote, it's rigged. Case. Close, unless you can see exactly who's voting. That's the genius of voting. You can't see them, so you don't know what's going on. But if you're in a room and there's 50 people in there and you see everyone, you go, all right, right here and now, raise your hand right. if you're for so-and-so. One, two, three, four. Really? You, all right. Five, six. Seven. Are you ready But everyone to sees it. You got, you, you got witnesses. It. You got witnesses. Secret ballad. Right. Secret. Secret. You pull that curtain, though. Yeah, that, why did we need a curtain? Because. <laughs> we don't want people being persecuted. They don't <laughs> want you to realize you're not voting. You're <laughs> just putting in a popular scenario. Because... Otherwise, voting would have been changed a million years ago. You're not a democracy. Well, a democracy so is when... Uh, here, there's four of us in here, right? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. there's four of us. Uh, three and a half. You like Coke or Pepsi, Ant? I'm a Coca-Cola guy. Okay. Pepsi. How about you? I got Pepsi. I got Pepsi. Here's the problem. Anthony's worth more. Coke wins! <laughs> It's a democracy vote, ladies and gentlemen, and we will debate on this every four years. Well, well it's been intact for over 200 years, and this is the way we do our system. It's such a scam, and, and yet they have everyone so fooled <laughs> and, well, it's educated, don't you think, because I'm so educated that, no, well, that's why you're educated. Oh, you just spilled coffee. Because it's to make you think you're it, smarter. Yeah, but they also... Clean that up! <laughs> I'm a guest! The election also comes down to what? How many swing states? That's it. Like, well, again, yeah, yeah. like again. you're wasting your time in New York to vote for Romney in this next election. Well, here's the thing. It's a guarantee Obama will win the state. Yeah. Again. But it comes down to what? Florida, Ohio, what's another swing state? Michigan probably, who right? Cares? Some, and it's Wisconsin. Cold, cares? But I'm just saying, it like so so <laughs> Go ahead. The got, go ahead. So the populace doesn't even fucking control the election, like you're saying, that's all. I got two points for you. Yeah, hit it. Two points. Very simple. Fuck you, Hannity. Bring it right down to a simple size. Ready? Yeah. Guy up the street for me, hard worker, not even going to name names. He probably, his father probably started the Irish gangster. He's not a gangster, just a real great businessman of New Jersey. All right? Nice. Now, he, during the, the election in Chester, New Jersey, he had on his lawn, hey, vote for Bill. All right? Yeah, I'm sure. And I know Bill. And I went, wow, yeah, that is cool, man. I'm going to put a sign up. I like Bill. Too. I play softball with Bill. Bill's a cool guy. Yeah, he's, his head straight. He's got three kids. I know Bill. Two weeks later, he's got a different sign up. <laughs> Vote for Fred. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, what? Is this man, real, by the way? I swear oh my, my kids God, lives. I know exactly I where this is going. I swear my kids lives. Okay. All right? And I said, maybe... I never knew this. Maybe you get paid to put those signs up. So I'm worth more. I got a little, man, I got a little swag from the 90s. Maybe I'm worth a little more than the guy at the street. Hey, so I go up to him like, hey, man, I, I noticed you had Bill. He goes, oh, I love Bill. You know, we play softball and we hang out on Wednesday nights. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you got Fred. He goes, I got a business, man. I went for, you know, I, I rely on permits. So when I went to go get my permit, they said, well, you'd get it a lot quicker if you take Bill's name off your mm, lawn. No way. Go with Fred. I swear my wow. kids. Now, if this happens in st here. Yeah, that's a tiny little town. You can only imagine what. Well, that could never get away with in America. <laughs> that is what they sell you. you it could ne America, this could never happen. This, this could <laughs> never. Ever, ever. What do you think this is, Russia? What do you think this is, Czechos? What are we, some kind of third world country? It's Not just, in America. It just happened. <laughs> so, all right, that's that's oh number one. God, yeah. If you if you you ever see voted number one, voted number one pizza place by the by yeah, the sure, sure. Jersey Journal. That's him going to the freaking guy who prints the stuff. Because I was with, I'll give you a great example. My, I don't even want to bring him up. 
Right. But we'll say come down to a type of food you serve with slices. <laughs> right. Oh, God. And, I gotcha. and in his <laughs> in his window, he said voted number, number one. one in the county. Now we all looked at each other like what? You got like government cheese on there. What are you talking about? <laughs> So when I actually asked him, he's like, oh, I go and I talk to him and I took him hunting and I gave him pizza and he wrote that up for me. Not in America! <laughs> Surely that happens in a small town, but not on a yeah. bigger scale. Not on a national level. Not on a national no. scale. So that's why I, I, politics and all that is the greatest, to me, it's the most brilliant greatest scam in the history of humanity it is it is such a goof and what cracks me up is it gets from the, the, what really cracks me up is the people that go that that are so educated and they're they, they have, i have a master's to, and don't you think i have a conscience to decipher no because th just the way you're talking already right, no you don't have common sense <laughs> so that is the brilliance of of politics but who's to deciding me. Who's actually making that decision? Like, it's a all wizard. Right, who's president? It's a big wizard. Is it a wizard? I don't know. That's another thing. Is he really even a president, or is it just a um, more of a figurehead at this point? In other words, right, here is it just like a a, a a front? Is it a pizza? G hey, listen, you're gonna serve pizza right here. You're gonna do. It. You're the pizza guy. But we want the back room. We're gonna be. <laughs> is it really just these? I don't know. Is it businessmen that own most of the world? It's the most elite billion gazillionaires that have the money to do anything. They yeah. have the money to buy weapons. The Illuminati. The, the money to yes. make them. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even want to know what that is because I want to get home safe today. His <laughs> <laughs> brake lines are well, cut. I'm, yeah, but really. I'm saying. On the way back I'm, to Chester, Jim Brewer New Jersey. got whooping cough today. Very bizarre. Must have been Anthony. Yes. No, it's a terrorist. I'm telling you. <laughs> so, so, well, the then, country's completely divided right now. So Completely. Now, yeah. Which means me nothing gets this. done. Is it really completely divided? Do you talk to everyone? That's another thing. When they what say polls, polls were taken today, they're telling you how to think. That makes no sense mm. at all if they say, what is the, what is the agenda to go? Polls say mm. that so-and-so is ahead by 38%. What? What is the... What is behind? It makes no common sense at all. What, well, what is that going to change? Oh, now we must work harder to be against. It's, it's just a play on your imagination. And we've been around a long time now. I've never been polled. Who are the, who are the who, people that are getting who polled? Who has ever been polled in I've their never life? Been polled. I swear. I For could, anything. We should ask that question to see if anyone calls. Well, they, been, they throw a poll up on TV every morning. Who are these people getting polled? I've been stopped more in a mall to tell me, like, you have 20 minutes to watch a television program. <laughs> right. uh, We're doing a survey on this new program, and we'd like your opinion. Uh, that's funny. Who's, what character did you like? I, so, th that's why I don't get... I find this is... Brilliant entertainment. It's so fun. what do you it's do? Fun you, to watch. Just, you just drift along with the current. I'm just you sitting just, here watching the wheels go round and round. That's it, right? Because what are you going to do? Resign it, yourself to the fact that it, I well, think it's easier do? that way. I know. That's just it. What are you going to do? It, uh, I don't. I, I don't lose sleep over this shit. I get mm. kids that come up to me. Yep. This, I get kids that I'm. I'm just doing a freaking ACDC cover band in my town, which I'm not going to toot my horn, but it sounded sick. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to an so, your dad rolls. Dude, I'll give you the CD next week. It's going to be really my... anyway, kills. So with that said, I'm playing this little dirt hole bar. You would love this one. Jukebox. The guy's like this old stoner hippie guy. So anyway. you got to get some ACDC, by the way. You're going to have to do it. I'm oh, dude, sorry. I'm going I'm to give No, you... I mean today. Oh, without yeah. music, just you fucking singing. You're going to have to do it when That's you're fine. ready. That's All fine. Right. As I'm leaving the place, this is what I get. Hey, dude. Do you know about who, who's the guy that ever, it's the revolution guy who's who's starting Joe Rogan's forum and there's some Ron problem. Paul yes who said that yeah okay Ron Paul said Dad bro you gotta check in Ron Paul <laughs> I said why do because he's gonna change the world Joe Rogan's gonna back him tomorrow he's he's changing it dude 
Let me explain something. Yeah. <laughs> it, he's, it's, no. It's, it's to get guys, you don't understand, man. I said, no, you don't understand. It's the same thing every four years. Eddie Vedder's going to come out, make sure you vote for Ron Paul. <laughs> get back, America. Get back, America. America. Here's the problem. Eddie Vedder kills in Vancouver. He's he's huge in Vancouver. Oh, uh, yeah, you hear what he's saying, eh? They should root for Ron Paul. Paul, eh? Yeah, America's gonna go for Ron Paul, eh? He's huge in freaking the Philippines. Hey, America needs Ron Paul. Ron Paul is for the real humanity of America. Bring back the Buffalo. 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 I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a douche. And, you know, love your and then it only comes two minutes later where, you know, uh, Hannity, you know, send in Hannity in the Fox team. This hippie, this liberal, tell your kids they're a bunch of savages and they should go to school. It's a good job. These kids are savages. They're animals. They're hippies. They like black people. <laughs> Oh, they're put links with the terrorists. Oh, no, he's a terrorist. Kill Eddie Vedder. <laughs> they're burning Eddie Vedder CDs in downtown Seattle. Something, <laughs> and, don't burn, don't burn my CDs. I'm poor Ron Paul. Today, today, we're talking about Ronnie Paul. Tell him what you... I just think Americans were sitting here to do what he's saying. <laughs> It's the most cra until, unfortunately, yeah. until things are, uh, every country has proved it. And, and I'm not supporting this, mm. and I'm not saying this is what should be done. But until they go, trucks are being overturned, <laughs> buildings are being burned down. There's masses of people marching through the streets, and they're saying, it's our land now. <laughs> I don't care who's your front runner. It's not happening. Because whoever's running all this, the CNNs, the Foxes, Behind the, scenes the Daily News, yeah. the this and that, yeah. they rule the world. God. Case closed. So go back mm. to your little job. And your little education, and and that's it. And I, get caught up, and go to bars, and and debate it for four hours. Get red in the face, and I want to kill each other. Love, love what you're saying. I love it. It's it, common it, sense. It really is. Yeah. yeah. So fuck you, Hannity. Sense. That's it what does I say. Seem, um, Restraining order coming soon. It's crazy. Crazy until the. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude! Whoa! Yeah, they've yeah. had enough. They just exploited something. <laughs> right. You know that this is what happened in 1965. This is what happened in the terror. This is why we're really there. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> they know. And that's and that's why you got to keep the. That's why you got to keep the rich people looking down on here and these people dividing that because once they unite, whenever you unite. Mm. Whenever you're in a bar, that's what I, I'm i so, I don't even smoke pot of nothing. This is just, I re, the, the more people congregate, the more dangerous the country becomes because everyone realizes we all kind of want the same thing. We just want to have a wiffle we, ball game in the yard. We don't totally, have to work so hard. We don't have to work wanna, so hard. We want to keep as much of, of your money as possible. We, no you not, you we, were, we were the most united we've been in, in a long time right after 9-11. That was our case. Everybody was like, was yes. there, was, there was no more racial divide. Everybody no. was just, we were like, Americans, let's get together. Yeah. And, and we when fucked we it did up. that, we decided... We fucked it up. No, the, the, the fucked up thing is, Brewer makes a great point, because the first thing we did when we all united was decide to just go and fuck up Iraq. <laughs> 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 we were like, let's get in there I don't care. and kick some ass. And that's, that like, li that's when you send, like, the gays, listen, who, listen, I know somebody knows something. <laughs> and if you ain't going to tell us what happened, we're just going to start taking everyone out. That's how simple it goes. So start fessing up, all of a sudden you can start breaking shit. That's it. But if we... Is this your temple? Bang! I know nothing! I know nothing! Are you sure? Are you sure?
if if we were united like that, but against our own government, you're right. That would be they would amazing. That was the time. There's nothing you can do. It, 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 you, mm. Blue people were ready to listen right after nine eleven. Blue yeah. collar, all those. Mm. But unfortunately, there's well, too much. There's, so when all those dudes are like. When the, you know, like the Wall Street dudes. You want you want to get things done. You got to infiltrate the police mines. You got to infiltrate those people. You can stand on the street all you want, but like my brother's a cop. He just sees it, says he don't care what they're protesting about. Right. He just knows. Oh, oh now I gotta go down here and some have some guy try to throw an egg. Yeah. And you, you think just, they care when the, the guy's holding a sign up in front of the cops and saying, we're here for you, man. He, he don't the care. cop's like, He's, I'm here for me, yeah. and then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to coach w uh, my yeah, kid yeah. playing ball and hope he got home from school safe because he's something. in a school where they can't stand his race. This isn't a movie. It's a, the been, cops aren't going to be turned around by this speech that this idiot's making with his sign. Exactly. <laughs> it, so it's working. you could do that. Some kid stopped me in the street two weeks ago. He's like, is that anyone? I can help you. What do you want me to do? You know what I'm doing? I'm going home, and I, I get this one. My little one. My middle one's <laughs> sick. I mean, dude, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got no job. You get, no, and, and I'm not saying that's against you. I'm just saying. Yeah, right. I, it's, we're in different <laughs> worlds here. We're in right, different right. worlds here. And you're I don't not going to tell you. Well, you're not going to convert me. <laughs> it's it's funny as you're uh, you're talking about all this stuff. We're watching MSNBC, CNN, and Fox, and they're all arguing their point of view. And I look at that whole thing as a tug of war that doesn't really ever go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like they get a little, and then you're pulling the rope back on your but side. That's the that's genius. all. That's all is yeah, going on with all these channels. They never, ever, ever pull the other they, side into the mud, and they never have an ending. No. That's the. It's the. It's, it's just a long tug of war. Looney Tunes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, Doc? <laughs> Can you believe this guy likes gay marriage? <laughs> That's not right. Pigs shouldn't be porking other pigs in the behind. Yeah. That's just crazy. <laughs> oh, the scary terrorist! It's you're it's, absolutely right. It's wrestling. It's the fucking soap opera that never ends. That's never, been going on for forty years with the same no storylines. Watch it over. Yeah, and over. yeah. How many times have you met a chick that goes, "I watch General Hospital"? Like that's still going. Still on. It's still going. Still fighting. That's every one of these dopey channels. Like, yeah. They tell you how to think. They go, you you think you know how to think, but here's what they do. Okay, today we're discussing what almost, uh, Obama said about the gay marriage. We have a specialist here. <laughs> and, and the specialist says his thing, and they tell you, like, do you believe in this or this? And then the specialist goes, well, they're telling you even how to debate. If you go in a coffee store... You never hear people truly debate with their own thoughts. No, no, it's regurgitating it's what they heard. It's just regurgitating. Yeah, that's human nature. And again, the brilliance of it is mm, everyone who's, really quote, is. educated goes, well, no, that's the way I really feel. No, it's not, dummy. That's what we told. <laughs> that's what you were told. <laughs> that's what you were told. <laughs> you just think it because they're wearing suits and you wear a suit. I'm, I'm so guilty of that. <laughs> we are all you, are. <laughs> when we were off the air, I was reading a lot of those political books like yourself. I yes. was picking them up at Barnes and Noble, yeah. and, and I would read a Michael uh, Moore book, and I'm sure. like, "Oh, Michael Moore!" And then there would yes, be a Rush Limbaugh type. Of, I was like, I was switching sides Me by, too. by which book I was reading at the right. moment. Right. Me too. I'd go from I literally went from uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh. Right. Then then I went from um, uh, that to like Clinton. Yeah. I hated Clinton. And then it went to uh, you know Giuliani. I'm like, yeah, Republican. No matter what, a Republican. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Republican. <laughs> I don't even know what it meant, and then yeah, I read this book, and then the Michael Moore thing, and then that. Just, what? What are you, if you had to say? I'm, I'm a, none of it. Yeah, I'm pretty much none of it. Right and, there with you. And I gonna say eighty percent of people at the end of the day really are none of it. Yeah. But you have to take sides. Are you for the Mets or the Yankees? You have to. More you for the Twins or you for the A's? Yankees, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. Fucking about Mets. The Yankees, because the Mets. Yeah. Fucking Mets. What about, uh, more importantly, uh, how's your ACDC? Uh, dude, we got to wait for that. You hear my voice? Yeah. Oh, I want to hear some ACDC a little later. Which, dude, is, which I, is your favorite song to say? Thunderstruck? I'm gonna try, this is what I'm going to try to do. Right? Hold on. I'm going to try to call my buddy.
Okay. Who's the PC Richards guy? <laughs> he's like he's literally the PC Richards. Okay. And he moved to my neighborhood, and he's the cool. He's a Long Island guy. And we have wiffle ball tournament nice. every year. The first year I was the champ. Thirty guys, my team won. Last year I got hurt. Came back from oh, oh, shit. tough life. Came back from pff, Maui. Came back <laughs> <laughs> and I tried paddle boarding. And I, I sprained my meniscus, whatever it's called. So I couldn't play. So he's a, he won, but he went against my team without me. Mm. My team made the championship, but didn't have me. Right. And so he's like, you know, who's the champ? Went, you never knocked me down, Ray. You never <laughs> knocked me down. Not until you beat me. Yeah, you are playing. But he's the one that called me um, months ago. He's like, hey, bro, I heard you could. Can you imitate ACDC? See, yeah, what do you, what, he's like, we want to do an ACDC song. He's like, play him at a local bar. I went, as long as we just... Fucking great. I said, you know what? That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Like, no comedy, just whatever. People could judge it. Let's just go there. We freaking, we did it. I left, we did it again. It was funny, it's a little tiny bar. They couldn't fit any more people in there. People were sweating or standing like this. And, he said he. I sat in his car the other day with the CD and I listened to it. I was like, oh, "Is that oh, really? Shit. That's Did you soup this up?" He goes, "No, man. This is straight off of." I want to. Oh, I want to hear, hear, hear it so bad. We'll, we'll play. I'm going to call him and see if he'll oh. if he'll play it. See what it sounds like over the. Hey, we'll if get he a good idea. Speak, I just want to hear it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll get a good idea. Call him during the break. Ridiculous. Or yeah, it's. I I can imagine. It's so ridiculous. Oh, it made me want to go. I'm going to quit stand up for a while. <laughs> I just fucking. And I'm going to get Bill Burr. And Bill Burr is going to play drums. You know, either drums He'll or. play drums for you. Bill Burr is totally into like rhythm guitar drums. And we'll do a little. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Call, call Anthony's we'll brother. We'll do a benefit. Yeah, Anthony's, Anthony's brother, Anthony's brother Joe is doing the whole there. cover band thing. Tribute band. How, how's this new journey doing? That's fucking going, doing great. Who, who's the singer? Nah, it's the same guy that's in the fucking U2 band. <laughs> he just he he doesn't even care. <laughs> At this point, he doesn't even care. It's like, I don't Joe care if he looks is, like him or Joe, nothing. Joe is making so much money with, the, with his cover bands. It's do crazy. You know, the, do you know um, awesome. the, the Queen band? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know them, know them? I or? don't know them, but my brother's played with them a few times. I They're amazing. The craziest story. with oh, really? I grew up with the bassist in that band. Mm. And this is the John Travolta try to blow him. No, oh, okay. but I. Do you buy that? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I mean, come on. It's, it's, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't give a fuck to be honest. Uh, who, with cares? You. who cares? I mean, it's kind of fun. It's funny. It's fun, but I don't give a fuck what he's doing. Again, why should anyone give a fuck? What I'm he's also. Doing? I'm also another one who's like, it, it's just as big in Hollywood. Right. The genius mm -hmm. marketing. Right. Like when this guy hooks up with this girl, they're both. Obviously not heterosexuals. <laughs> However, the marketing plan of putting these two together is so huge and brilliant and keeps them on the storefront 24-7. It's just, it's brilliant. Right. I love it. Right. But people think, oh, but you're a conspiracy. No, I'm not. No, no. It's all, I've met them. It's all bullshit. <laughs> I've seen them in action with a cocktail. There's a reason why they don't do talk shows. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why certain people I don't do talk shows because they'll start frailing too much. And you're like, oh, wait, what's hey, weird. something's were, going on oh, there. <laughs> like, huh, oh, man, going on there. Yes. Huh, that's going on Yes. That's weird. Oh, I didn't realize he wow. talked with his hands so much. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah, that lilt in really? his voice. Yes. Uh, but they can't because wow. the marketing value will just plow. Oh, yeah. right? they're, wor they're worth way more money being a, a straight couple. Yes. It's and brilliant. There's a, and there's a few of those couples out there. There's a lot of couples like that. You're Hollywood. I love it. Genius. Yeah. Well, yeah. Genius. I love that. <laughs> Where were you at? Oh, the Queen story from the oh, yeah, the bass player. Dude, you're going to crack up hard at this. Yeah. yeah. You, Anthony's going to really appreciate oh, this. Story. I grew up, this kid, he's going to be so pissed after hearing this, but I don't care. We did it on my Ray Allen again. And we this, don't know the name of the band. This is a couple There's of years. a bunch of Queen bands out there. Now, here's it out. I, I, I don't know if I should say his real name. No, don't. 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 All Honestly, right. don't. It I'm doesn't say, matter to the story. I'm going to say Bowser. His oh, all right. His name's Bowser. He grew up, he, he lived on my street. But on my street, he was the one house before we crossed into the bad pothole area. All right. So he's on the corner of the good side. All right. Now, he growing up, Bowser loved, you know, Motley. He dressed 
like Nikki Six of Motley Crue all the time and Bon Jovi. He wore the stockings on his hands and the eyeliner and frizzed his hair out and all his jazz and blah, blah, blah. Now, he always, he always had that like goo in his in the corner of his mouth. You know those guys with the goo in the corner of the mouth? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> There's certain guys always have the goo in the corner of the mouth. So <laughs> Could so be he, pills. Who Could knows? Right. So he's got the goo. Who well, knows what it is? So his hair's always covered in his face. Whatever. Cool guy. He couldn't play sports, so we didn't have a lot to do. Like, all right, go play a guitar. So we would hang out and all that just Now... The last I saw, he's playing in a band and cover band. I see him once in a while. Haven't seen him in years. The last thing I heard, he was working at this little uh, rock store in in Long Island, where it's the old time. You walk in, you still can get a CD or or a bootleg or mm. something like that, like something you find in the village. <clears throat> On the radio show years ago, we had Battle of the Cover Bands. Nice. So we had. Queen versus Bon Jovi, and I forgot who the other band was. Well, the Queen band comes in, and I walk in, and I'm like, is that, is that Bowser? That's Bowser. I walk in, and I go, Bowser. And the and, like the music stopped in the blues. Are, <laughs> he looked up, and the rest of the band was had like this weird freak everyone stopped and he looked at me like I was like it was an ass and he goes he turns to the band he goes it's cool man I know him oh what's why Bowser what's going on what's going on they're like dude that's really messed up he goes I got it I got it I go what what's going on man I haven't seen you in so long how's your face like <sighs> I'm not Bowser well what do you what do you mean you're not Bowser He's like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Johnny. I go, what do you mean? You, what are you talking about? You changed your name? And I went, is that because, why'd you change your name, man? Is something happened to your parents? Like, did you change it after your dad or something? He's like, <laughs> no, think of the name John. I don't want to give the real name what he turned it into. Ooh. I have to, though. Yeah, I kind of have to. He really goes, got my real name is Randy. I go, Randy? What do you? What do you mean, Randy? And he looks at me and he puts his arms up. Yeah, and he goes, think about it. <laughs> and I, went, <laughs> I, went, I went, I have no clue. He goes, think of my room, dude. And, and I literally go back to 1984, 85, 6. I went, okay. He goes, what was up on the wall? I go, you had Nikki Six and you had Randy Rhodes. He goes, Hello! <laughs> Holy shit. And then they're going, show the tattoo! Show the tattoo! Oh, no. So he rolls up, dude, he's like, oh, no. he rolls up the thing, and it's like Randy, and it's spelled backwards. He's like, yeah, you messed it up, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, this dude's, and he's really good. I just thought that was the fun. Why is he mad at that? Why would he be mad at that no story? One's no, to, one's to, well, no one's allowed to. Well, no one's allowed to call him by his real name. He probably name. doesn't want anyone to go to a show or show up and be like, "Hey, there's Bowser." Right, like you, you doofus. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Because I was fucking up, I, blowing up his spot. So of course, the whole show, all I did was call him by his Bowser. real name. Of course, I'm, like, I'm not going to call You're you. You're not calling Randy. him Randy. You're Bowser. <laughs> hello, hello, Bowser. Yeah, hello. Like Think you should have known. <laughs> So why, have known. so why is he, why is he singing Queen then, and not Black Sabbath? Um, I, he's, he's obsessed huge, with Randy Rhodes. He's obsessed with, he's but he's a, in a Queen band. I know, but he's also obsessed with Freddie Mercury. So uh -huh. he was always that guy. He was obsessed with one guy. And is he I good? To, oh yeah, he's really good. I have to give him credit. He lived what he wanted to be. Yeah, you know? like you know, he's in the cover band. He does something, but so I give him that credit. But I thought that was that's so like weird. that is a character in a movie. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. movie scene where you sure. go. Right. How funny was it when Sandler walked in <laughs> and the guy's like, "Hello, <laughs> think of the posters of think my of the room." Poster and that did he flash back? Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're looking around the room. Randy Rhodes. Duh. Uh, yeah. Hello. 
<laughs> so <laughs> when you said the cover bands, it kind of uh, cracked beautiful. me up. Some of those guys in well, there. We want to hear the ACDC. You've got to call your guy. Oh, yeah. Even through the phone, that, it would man. be great. And send us the CD. We'll play when you're not here. We'll check it out. I'll send it. Yeah. All right, it. listen, Jim Brewer's here just killing. You're, you're going to stick around, right? Yeah, I got to know where to go. I right, got to yeah. be at. Fuck on. I got to do I wish. I wish Hudson was a little older. Mm. Two years I'm old. Because I'm on a Disney HD thing called Motor City. It's very... Oh, wow. Very boy. The boys freaking love cool. it. It's, it's good guys, bird guys, cars underground, you know. It's very cool. It's called Motor City on Disney HD. I'm the big, dumb hitman. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're, doing, you're doing voices for Disney now? Yeah. So I'm doing that's it after cold, this. So I got nothing to noon. Is Damn. it already on TV? Yeah. Yeah, it's on Disney HD. I'm going to fucking it's watch Motor that. City. Oh, I'm going to watch Motor City today with, with my son. People say, people say it. it's Disney XD. XD. Yeah, what'd I say? HD? HD. XD. XD. I'll find Whatever. it. Motor City, it's called. Yeah, Motor City. You got little I kids. They love it. I'm fucking sick of Yo Gabba Gabba. No, you like And the sick boys. of Little Einstein and uh, Chuggington. I need a new fucking show. No, this is high you. I'm I'm done with these fucking yeah, shows. Yeah, but you're in that wheelhouse. Rio, you're in that wheelhouse. Toy Kai. Story. Oh, Caillou is great. Uh, know what? Know what? Uh, uh, movie we watch every day because it's because it's free. <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> what? Uh, Despicable Me is on HBO. I love that. He loves yeah. it, dude. I didn't. He's a know. fan of Despicable Me. I'm sitting there the whole movie for like 40 minutes into it. Yeah. I went there because I love Steve Carell. So I and it's funny because I met him. He's he was married to Nancy Walls, uh -huh. yeah, and, and Nancy was on Saturday Night Live the first year I was on, and she had one of the funniest sketches right before they they cut her. She would, she's like this really conservative looking girl, right? And she's like from New Hampshire, and her sketch was the she would bake and she'd be like, oh, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna blow that. I don't even know how to do it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, it looks like you want a fistful of whoop ass. Over your kid, whatever the things. But she brings in this guy. She's like, "This is my husband, Steve. You know, he's trying to be. He's, you know, he's kind of a sketch comedy guy." And and then I remember her going, "Oh, he just got a job at Comedy Central. Oh, wow! And he was just the greatest guy. I'm like, yeah, good for you, Steve. Hopefully, and I was like, man." That guy deserves a chance one day. <laughs> oh, chance. And now he's like, I, Cute, yeah. I freaking love Steve Carell. So with that said, I'm what she's says, funny. By the way, she's very. She funny. gave up her career to have kids for a little while. She was uh, she was on Comedy Central as well. She was. What was yeah, she, doing she did there? early Daily Show shit. Oh, oh she right? did. Yep, yep. Yeah, before uh, Stewart, I believe. Oh wow. Well, yeah. she was. She's, and now she's back, kind of doing commercials and a little bit here yeah, and there. The, the both of them are phenomenal. She's, she's, she's funny, man. She's very funny. But anyway, sorry. Steve I don't goes. Talk about that. I go in there and I'm watching, and I'm and I hear the Russian accent. Well, this is not the going to have to. And about forty minutes into, I'm like, "Where's Steve Carell? <laughs> Where, where's Steve Carell in this movie?" And my wife's like, "He's the main character." I went, "That's that's him doing the accent." I'd even right. I had no clue that was Steve Carell. That's how freaking good he I've was. watched the movie ten times in the last two shit. weeks. I did not know until just now. Are you kidding? <laughs> no joke. You had no, no clue that was Steve Carell. And I do see him in the credits, and I was just thinking, like, ah, oh, he's probably playing one of the fucking he's other... He's the main guy. I did not know it until now. Dude. <laughs> I swear to God. He's the main rush. He's the main guy. And I stood there the whole Holy time going... Fuck. That's I had no the idea. <laughs> it is a good movie, though, man. That's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great, great movie. That one Very I don't funny. mind watching over and over and over and over yeah. again. Get used to that, bro. <laughs> no shit. Motor City, though. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna yeah. turn my kid. Let me call Motor my City. friend. All right, we'll take a break. Jim Brewer, Heavy Metal Comedy Show, June 8th at the Crocodile Rock Cafe in Allentown, PA. Go see the bear, man. Tell him I sent you. I'm going to. Uh, all dates at jimbrewer.com, B-R-E-U-E-R. Because -E -E I always fuck up your last name, still to this day. Jimbrewer.com for all your tour dates. Uh, Laszlo's going to join us in a little while as well. He's here to promote Max Payne 3 out now for yes. Xbox and PS3. Nice. But uh, Jim Brewer singing ACDC, hopefully after the break. Oh, I want to play <laughs> this uh, this morning uh, noise song again. Okay. We joked about how we we always make stupid noises and shit to get our get ourselves together to do radio. And Troy Kwan put this together. We should do a montage of the first things we say when these mics go on. Oh, that would be funny. Because even after all these years, it's it's just dumb little noises. <laughs> noises. Ah, 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 ah. Ba, 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 ba. How we doing this morning? <laughs> Make sure all the tones <laughs> are there. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> 
God, I must say, we're having a fine show today, thanks to Jim Brewer in the house. And now we got Laszlo, another one of our pals, here yes. to, prom uh, to promote Max Payne 3. Yeah. Max Payne 3 uh, on, uh, what, Xbox, PlayStation? Yeah. yeah. But before that, uh, yeah. it was on PC. PC, yeah. I wanted to bring up some of the stuff he was just telling me off air. He was in London yesterday. Yesterday. Flew in last night. So you're obviously going all over the place to promote Max Payne 3. And uh, you... And you're saying that London's uh, one, of the, one of the biggest video markets, or the biggest video market? I think in all across Europe, really? in, yeah. yeah, it rains all the time. There are no outside activities. There's nothing to do outside. You basically, just... it's video games and anal is all there is to do. <laughs> are they really into anal? Oh, I, it's weird. They're obsessed over there. <laughs> Why are they into anal? Because <laughs> they're just bored because they're inside so much? The girls are goers. And everybody drinks like a fucking fish. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. after work, everybody's in the pubs. It's Video like, oh, games, it's anal, and drinking. Sounds like my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not, a, right. not a bad place to live then, huh? <laughs> I just like uh, asking Laszlo about the world. I'm jealous. I want to do more travel. I brought you. you like London? It's, I love London. What do you love about it? Um, the, the, the girls can drink at 18 is a good vibe. Um, nice. We used to have that in America. Yeah, yeah many yeah. years ago. Yeah, they fucked yeah. that just, one up. You know, it's like they've, they've had long enough to get through the, the nonsense. You know, they went through the weird religious period, which we're still in. Yeah. You All know, right. You, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? The uh, the the TV and the radio is is pretty damn good. You know, is you it? Do so they have a lot of channels over there? Yeah. Or, are yeah. they starting to do edgy shit? Oh yeah, dude. You turn some of the TV stuff on at night. It's like wow. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like in prime time, they're talking about reverse cowgirl. It's like wow. Oh, really? Like, yeah. And look is up with us being so fucking and, and, and nudity on just regular TV oh, shows. Oh yeah. Right? Well, I mean, page three, and then you go into you know any sort of convenience store, and all the porno is right out there. It's not behind the counter. Yeah. It's just like here you oh, go. Man, I brought nice. you. I brought you back. Oh, let me some see. English porn. Oh, let me Nuts see. And, it's it's not even really porn to them. Nudity is just. Can I have one of those? Oh please? yeah, yeah. Do you? You can take Zoo. Uh, uh, why is Zoo? Want... Zoo? Zoo is good. Uh, zoo is good. Their magazines are fantastic. It's boobies. God, look at Gemma and then a word with Ricky. Ricky Gervais. And then, right, and then mm -hmm. there's pictures of people who have had... Fuck a Ricky Gervais. You see the tits uh, on Gemma says, Atkinson? That says, elephant goes mental. Right. And it's some kind of fucking guy in the control room over there going crazy at the board. Oh, wait, that's Iraq. E wait, can you look... Uh -huh. Google yeah. image Gemma Atkinson. Wow. Holy shit. And Their magazines are great, too. They always have a picture of somebody that got into, like, a horrific motorcycle accident. There's, you know, the big gash up their leg. Well, that's, really, like, entertaining? Yeah. There's always, oh, like, man. surgery photos in there as well. Nakedness. This is, looks like a cool magazine. Check that it's out. a fine country. It's just kind of like a pop culture, gaming, movie, TV, tit magazine. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, yeah, when yeah. you get bored, there's a tit in your face. And then there's some, you know, pictures of rug, rugby accidents. Oh man, Look, I love that. I Look was at, on, I was on the BBC uh, Radio One, yeah. two, Radio two, One, two, BBC two days ago. Yeah, and. Uh, they said, I said, so, you know, tell me, what kind of dump do you have? You know, you got a dump button. They're like, no, it's completely live. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is the biggest radio station in England, Radio they, 1. No dump. It's, and it's like, and they're like, we expect people to be responsible. And yeah, I said, what happens yeah. when people aren't responsible? Because there's right. a very good chance. Because, you know, you go on this show, you really become... Yeah. It's weird going back to terrestrial radio because you get so used to just not even cursing. You just get used to talking you naturally, forget. right? Right. Like you do, and and yeah, mm. I, I get sometimes even even still on this show, sometimes I'll say something and be like, "Am I? Should I be saying that?" <laughs> right, right. It's like, "Oh yeah, okay, it's it's cool." But so what they do when you say something offensive, instead of dumping out, they just go. Moving on then. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on then. Yes. Yeah. I guess everybody in the room just sort of sort of go, went white, and then they did, went, you, did you? Moving on then. Did you fuck up? I, you know, a little yeah. bit. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ugly American <laughs> again. Did you know how uh, like <laughs> FHM does the top hundred girls or whatever? Yeah. The, I, I this Zoo magazine that he gave me is like the top hundred girls, 
But they're all topless. This is like the <laughs> oh, most amazing great. four pages I think I've ever seen in my that's life. That's great. I was reading it on the plane. Because in America, they all would have <laughs> bikinis on, and that would be kind of hot. But they're, look, topless. Every, they're all topless, and they're fucking, they're oh, all FHM type wow. girls. Look. Whoa, look at those. This could be the greatest thing you've ever given me. <laughs> look at my voice. It's changing and everything. The other thing that's nice about the UK, Fuck. of all countries in the world, the largest breasts. Yeah, why is that? Uh, I wonder. I'm noticing that. Why? And there is it all the mutton. It's <laughs> they're it's natural to their too. tits. Not a lot of boob jobs. There's some. I'm seeing a couple boob jobs, but in general, they're like just very big natural broods. Mm. Gemma Atkinson, look at this. this. Oh man, yeah, she's got some. She's uh, a, look at this girl, man. She's yeah, all that's right, uh, she's huh? Uh, kind of attractive. Anyway, I think some people would find her pretty. Brewer's waiting for his ACDC buddy to call. Oh, no, no, I said yeah, he's got to call. Oh, no. Ah, no, we'll go. no, fucking Laszlo's here for the duration, yeah. so as soon as the guy's ready, we'll do get it, and then we'll get to Max oh, Payne. Oh, all right. I'd put him on hold. I'm like, dude, I don't want to step on Laszlo's <laughs> toes. Step on Laszlo, please. That's all hilarious. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a good shirt, dude. What a name Might need to one of those. Laszlo. I, he said it's an old one. I got my old Rockstar shirt. Well, I got yeah. a new Rockstar shirt. This one is actually from that's a time capsule. Back oh, in 2001, wow. I got a bunch of Rockstar shirts and threw them in my attic, and I just discovered Oh, it. man. Yeah, How cool is that? Cool looking one, man. Yeah, yeah, that is a good from, one. This is from back in the GTA 3. The, the Rockstar t shirts are Such always a, a hit in my world. So, oh shit. As no, many well, as you want to give me. I wear so many of those, yeah. like, around the house. And Dude, shit. I. They're great. I, I, all, all the different games I represent yeah. on my shirts. Your security, by the way, downstairs is first rate. You know, That's after 9 right. 11, uh, we've got the, the scanner down there. Uh -huh. You know, where the, the x ray scanner oh, just I came through with two <laughs> tactical gun bags <laughs> full of uh, clips, bullets, Whoa! Uh, yeah. How is that? Well, the the bullets, I mean, you know, the promotional items. They're, oh, okay. they're, they're Max Payne promotional items. They didn't even items. look, I was gonna say, oh my even God, look at the bag, right? You're the going guy to just prison. smiled at me as it went through. <laughs> I, I was looking at his face. That's waiting, hilarious. I was waiting for him. Literally, they're machine guns. Let me gun. see what they look like. They're machine guns. That's guns. hilarious. And we turned into flasks. See, we joke about security, that it's just it's, a complete And you put that through. Farce. They looked at the x-ray and, yeah, and decided, it. without looking in it, <laughs> that it wasn't real. Let me see what it looks like. And there's no fucking way in hell. What is this? That's gonna be okay. Yeah. This. Oh my God! It's a, it's a magazine. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> wow. That that's looks real enough to me. That's, yeah, that's crazy that's looking. That's a fucking mag. Um, wow, it's a little boost flask. Here, where are you going? Dude, this uh, is so okay. cool. And then, oh, oh, yeah, that's bullets. a boost flask. That's fucking, hilarious. Look at the bullets. Bullets. They look real enough. Whoa. Oh man. Certainly, if it's going through a scanner. But the, yes. no, it has a Rockstar logo on it, so it's okay. Yeah, but they didn't see the. Rockstar. So did they pull all this out? It pulled off. The guy smiled Nothing. at me. I was just waiting for the shit storm. Because literally, the at bullets. this other bag, I've got a Fucking million bullets. Oh, this is fantastic. What is the bullet? Do you ever go is it like the... a keychain or something? It is yeah. a keychain. That's kind of cool. Uh, store, you can, uh, unscrews, you Dude, can store cocaine cool. inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what bullets are for, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> wow, you so got it right through. Do you ever cool. fly with this? No, but You we have actually, to put it in the underbelly. We did give... <laughs> the underbelly. We did give a lot of... <laughs> 1970. <laughs> yeah, we gave a, a lot of stuff away at PAX. You know the big convention up yeah. there, the geek convention. They gave away a lot of the bullet keychains and stuff. And next day, the air, after the convention, the airport was bedlam. Oh man! They were seizing. They were taking them. They were yeah, seizing them all. Yeah, oh, you can't wow. get on the airplane with a bullet. I can't even yeah. get on with a, a recorder. You know those new those new recorders because they look like stun guns. <laughs> <laughs> so they they open it every single time and they examine it for like ten minutes Jesus. and I keep telling them it's, it's a recorder. Is like that the one that looks like a microphone? <laughs> yes, like and an it, old yeah. school microphone, square. It's kinda? it's a square, but there's two points on the top. Right. That that look like electric. It looks like a stun gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You put the foam over it. Yeah, the prior the, the little mics, right? Yes, the two little mics on top, but they're always. It looks like, like the electrodes for a stun gun. Really looks like a stun Jesus. gun. We have to study this. Well, you know, record on there. It's a basic. A right. hey, uh, hey, it's a recording team. stun gun. <laughs> Hey, uh, we're going to get into Laszlo and Max Payne 3 in a second. The game looks amazing on the TV already. Wow. You got someone playing the game. But uh, first, we got Brewer's buddy, and we don't want to lose him. I hope, this, I hope this sounds all right over the phone. Anthony. We'll get a good enough idea. Anthony, Jim Brewer's buddy. What's up, man? What's going on, fellas? Well, uh, Brewer's bragging about the ACDC AC thing you guys are doing locally. <laughs> yeah, I think she sounds pretty good myself. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony. Is such you guys would love Anthony. He's he's Long Island guy. Right. Yeah. He moved out to the sticks where I live. 
So it, anyone from Long Island, it's almost like being, like we already have that tattoo on us. You went to the war together. We're, yeah. yeah, Long Island. I already... You're in retirement in Jersey, basically. I can, <laughs> I can already relate to Anthony. And this is when I really related to Anthony. When he, he comes, he's like, I want to have a wiffle ball tournament. Nice. <laughs> so every year, Anthony sets up in his yard a, a keg, 40 guys, barbecue, and a home run wall. And we have a full-blown... And here's the funniest. The first year, Anthony goes, All right, here's the rules to the game. No whipping the ball. No fast pitching. Meanwhile, Anthony loses the first game, and you would have thought he was Dwight Gooden. You've got to do what you got to do. That's right. So now, Anthony, he call, like I said, he called me, and he said, um, Hey, Brewer, uh, can you do... Can you do ACDC covers? Can you sell against someone? Say, you I said, yeah, that sounds fun. I'll, yeah, absolutely. So I'm literally, like, I I'm going out of my way because I'm that into this. Right, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, sh I did I not show up sometimes, Lily, with the whooping cough? The like, whooping cough voice. I don't know if I can. You had, had a bottle of holes and uh, sucking on mints and. Va I had, I had Vicks. And You've done a yeah. lot of shows then. Two. Oh, two, okay. <laughs> two, two shows. Two shows. We did two. Calm down. Slow uh, down. I can't Slow even down. talk. But we literally. Now, Anthony kept saying, you got to hear what this sounds like. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now you got to hear what this sounds like. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other day I'm in my neighborhood. I'm driving down. He's at the end of the block. I see he comes. He's like, bro, just sit in my car. I got so into it, I forgot I was supposed to meet my wife, <laughs> who was off to be somewhere. And she, for, she was gone. She left without me. And, and I went, oh, my God. I completely forgot I was supposed to be in the house and everything. So I, I'll get you the actual CD. Yeah, yeah. I would want to hear. But uh... he, he blessed his car. And. You will not know. You We're, can't tell. We want him to blast it right now. I what song you playing? What song? I hope it. Uh, I hope it sounds good over the phone. What, yeah, song, we'll you gonna gonna what song are you going to play? What song are you going to play? Which one are you going to uh, start with? I, I think Rosie, right? A whole lot of Rosie. You know what? Yeah, that's a good. That, that that's fine. Well, we can do uh, TNT, whatever you want. Oh, I want to do you like TNT? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. They want TNT. Uh, TNT. <laughs> uh, I never remember the. Whole lot of Rosie's great though. The Oys are backup. So don't uh -huh. judge the oys. Okay. All right. Which one you? Which all right? That's yeah, which what song do you? What, what song is the best song? Yeah, uh, it's that's up to you guys. TNT, they're all good. They are. Pre uh, you guys do Thunderstruck? No. No. We do uh, old school. Uh, we start off. Uh, we start hold off. On, you ready? Ah uh, yes. Uh, all right. I hope it sounds all right. Sorry. Yeah. Let's go, Anthony. <laughs> From his car. Through the radio. <laughs> through a cell phone. Yeah. Through a cell phone. We'll see how this. Let's goes. see what it sounds like. <laughs> Uh -oh. You gotta turn it up, bro. Oh boy, he's waiting for it. turn it up, Ant. Or it might be too loud and it's gating everything. Gating. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Isn't working. And he can't hear right now. No, too. That's the annoying hear. part. He's rocking out right now. He's too. rocking out. His fucking he's head's thinking gone. we're crushing on the radio. Uh, yeah. It's like we're getting some airplay. Right, and he's sitting there. He's He's probably parked at a red light. Oh, going, yeah, yeah. I'm ripping it right now. The fucking national right I'm now. <laughs> I'm fucking national. There's some dude in, in Wisconsin right now Listen pulling over. He's fucking rocking. Screaming TNT. Yeah. Hello? Because I'm oh, a dynamite. Right, let's listen for one second. Hello? You're never going to hear it. Cause it no, I, know, I just want to... That, that's the proof. No. Wow. No, <laughs> no, not not a thing. Zero. How, how loud did you have it in your car? Hey, you know what? I'm going to put it on Bluetooth. What? Oh, it's on Bluetooth. Get, it's going Bluetooth. It's going Bluetooth. Let's try, uh, let's, let's try the Bluetooth. Then why would the cell phone do that? I don't know. I don't know why. Crazy. <laughs> Hold might, on. It might okay. be better to play it really low, believe it or not. Yeah. It would pick up. Yeah, right maybe play way. it a little lesser. Not so loud. And closer to the speed. Yeah. You guys might have to come in here and do this. I think we have to come in. To do a little Friday a action. We'll just fucking Friday. jam some ACDC. I think, yeah, I think we go in, uh, in the, in the fishbowl. Yeah. Fishbowl. And we'll do ACDC covers. That's fucking rock. Let's, let's just have fun one morning. We'll get a keg. Oh, man, yeah. We'll rip it up at 6 a.m. to I 10 like a.m. I like it. Remember, we used to get kegs. Dude. <sighs> this, this place would be let's like... Let's do that. Let's have crazy. a party. I say we do it. Let's oh, by the way, that uh, uh, reminds me. And if you're listening, I need another Bud Light keg. Thank yeah, you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anthony. We'll try. I didn't think it would sound good over the radio. Over well, the, uh, well, are you Bluetoothing it? Let's Bluetooth it. Yeah. Try All one right, more. Hold on. 
see. Yeah. And turn down the volume a little bit. It might work better that way. All right. It just might. <laughs> This is so 15 years old. I love it. Oh, yeah. It really oh, is. Dude, fun. check it out. Dude, you got to hear my... You got to fucking check it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's always... You got to fucking... There's always anger. It's, oh, yeah. We were always all angry on Long Island. It's a mint. Yeah, fucking Fuck. listen to this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kick ass. It's a mint. You know how mint that is? Blows away every fucking other band you want to hear. Dude, we can be ACDC. When they retire? Fuck ACDC. Who's doing it? I We're went on ACDC. They're going to be looking for somebody. I went on YouTube. No one even touches us. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. There was no YouTube when we were growing up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's Cindy, go. I think Mike Tissy could send you over a file if you wanted one. Oh, man, do it right now. Yeah. Do it right yeah. now. Oh, send that file, file, yo. Send that file. Wake Titchy up. Go on and hold. Tell him to send a file uh, now. And uh, wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. We'll give, you send a, it. we'll give you a fucking email and just send that <laughs> shit. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> It's so fucking it's so I love it. sick and this mint. This is gonna be mint. It's sick yeah. and mint. I forgot Not about mint. I forgot about mint until today. Everything oh, was mint. Mint. Fucking, rules. fucking mint. You know how mint I sounded last night? I took lessons. Mint. How sick as that. Fucking <laughs> like mint. mint. Listen, All right, call Tichy. All right. Uh, hold on. Everything was mint, dick, and faggot. I put him on hold and uh, thanks. yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. work this shit out. I want to. I want to hear a good file. Fucking mint. Yeah. All right, let's go. That's what I got oh, shit. now. I got this that Max Payne charade. She had been held in. Oh, fuck. I just missed them. This is scary. <laughs> Let's watching and listening to Max Payne 3. Out now for Xbox, PS3. I love, I love the Rockstar gaming atmosphere. It's just always depressing. <laughs> And drug-addled. Yeah, you're drug-addled. In this one, there is no sort of, like, health packs. It's only pills. That's yeah. it, yeah. It's the only way to get back. Uh-oh. Spaniards. No. <laughs> They're Portuguese. Oh, okay. My ex-neighbors. <laughs> the Colombians. Oh, shit. Oh, I love the bullet time. Yeah. <laughs> Right now we're just oh, watching. Oh man, yeah. yeah. People missing out. It, I love the blood. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good blood effects. You can tell we're into it if we're not talking. Holy fuck. That fucking fuck. bullet time is great. Yeah, and what's really cool about the bullet time now is it's it's you've got sort of 360 degrees. Like if he jumps forward yeah. and lands on his stomach, then you can keep shooting when you land on your stomach. Or you can roll over you can roll over on your back. Oh, Dude, that's okay. a nice and, wow, that wow, kind of look at the came apart. fucking blood. <laughs> that's um, nice. If, you're, if, if something blows up and you you get knocked down and you're on your back, you can still keep shooting. Oh, okay. So and oh, you can fuck. move your arm in any direction, even on your back, even on your back, so the action nice. doesn't stop. Um, I open the door to the next. We brought back yes, we brought back uh, Jim McCaffrey who did the voice on the first That's two. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, He's an man. intense guy. Holy shit! A lot of different weapons. Uh, Oh yeah, and there's no magic pockets in this one. It's no, like, no, you don't have like a million guns in your right, pocket. Right, right. This, if you run out, mm. you basically throw it on the ground, and you go up to somebody and smash them on their face and take their gun <laughs> and kill them. <laughs> That's great. So you're constantly discarding weapons. Um, oh man. <laughs> the slow motion blood. Yeah, amazing. It, it, the in game. Look to this is ridiculous. A uh, little propane tank. And, and we did uh, like thousands of different uh, motion captures. So what the game does is it oh. blends it together on the fly so that everything feels natural. Right. Like if, if you jump up in the air uh, towards a wall, Max will actually stick his arm out, his hand out, and brace himself. Oh, knowing um, that he's going to yeah. be hitting the wall. And, uh, and the enemies as well have got you know physics assigned to their <laughs> right in the face. To, to their face. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, Just shot him in the face. I really like if you if you shoot somebody in the leg, they'll curse at you that you shot them in the leg. Their, their hand oh, will yeah. go to where you shot them, oh, like yeah. the exact point of uh, injury. And then they'll they'll crawl away screaming for their buddies, and their buddies will come over and give them covering. Oh them. man! So we tried to really up the enemy AI in it. Um, oh, 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 oh! Yeah, this guy's getting shot up really bad. Oh, that's fucking good. So this guy plays a lot, I guess. Huh? Well, yeah. Another one of the game testers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a what a gig. Right. Oh, there he goes. Takes out his knee. What a gig. 
Oh, the guy's limping. Took out his other kneecap. <laughs> now, what's the basic gist here? So you're, Who are uh, these bad guys? Well, you, um... These are Portuguese gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> they certainly are. <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Dirty Portuguesers. <laughs> <laughs> now, the game starts in New York where the last game left off. Uh -huh. But Max is an ex-cop, and his, his uh, buddy says, I can get you work down in Brazil, you know, doing executive security. Ah. So which we found out a lot of ex-cops who've sort of, you know, gotten in trouble for beating the fuck out of <laughs> they, people. They go down there, huh? They go down there. There's so many insanely rich people. Uh, and the that kid, don't want to kid, be kidnapped. And kidnapping is such yeah. a... Yeah. Did I tell you when I was here last about uh, right as we started recording that there was a <clears throat> our producer's mom called and said she got a call that he'd been kidnapped? Jesus. This is five minutes. We, we went, flew, flew down to Sao Paulo. We went down there a lot to, to uh, make sure that everything you know in the game was authentic. We're about to re we're about to do a week's worth of intense recording for all these Portuguese gentlemen and gentlemen, gang, gang yes. members and so forth, um, so that you know all the voices are authentic. And our, our producer down there, his mom calls, freaking out, crying, saying, I just got a call that you were, you know, in Portuguese he's saying this, that you were kidnapped. And so what happens is people will call your house and to your mom and say, we've just kidnapped your son. Come out with all the money and the jewels and everything you got in the house or we're going to kill him. Now, it, it, they don't have him. Right. But he's with us about to start, you know, recording 100 people. So she was luckily able to get through to him, and it was it was absolute bullshit. Or, but some Jeez. people must go out and actually. And then on day two of recording, our casting chick was sitting there, and she got a message on Facebook, an instant message on Facebook that a friend of hers, some guys had stormed into his house, uh, taken his family, tied him up, and put him in the bathroom. And luckily, they didn't take his mobile phone. He he popped up Facebook, Holy saw shit. that she was on Facebook, because they're crazy about social media down there. Uh, saw that she was on Facebook, sent her an instant message. So she stopped what she was doing in our recording session and called the police to say that this guy was Holy being... Holy shit. What they do is they tie you up, you know, lock you in, in, in a room in your house, and then literally cart off everything in your fucking home. <laughs> they just sent a truck. This sounds gr like a great place. Why the Wait, fuck would what you go down there? a great place to set a video game. Yeah, yeah, why yeah, the that fuck would true. you go down there? And, huh? That's who cares? what blows me who, away. Who cares it's authentic? That's, that's what blows <laughs> me away. Like, fuck. We have a new Stay video game. <laughs> we need to be in an African safari. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lion chasing <laughs> me. <laughs> with a raw, we need to dangle raw meat from Leslie. I was like, this place is Fuck the fucking that. real deal. No yeah. shit. Wow. Real life video game. Yeah. Using social media to call the cops. So, so what? A lot of it's people crazy. have security guys, huh? Obviously. Yeah. To prevent all that shit. Damn, man. And a lot of people, um, the helicopter traffic there is intense because the, tr the urban planning was not so good. Not so good. So the, hey. the, the helicopter traffic is amazing. Pe people are just like, they just go from building top to building top. They don't want to go in the streets down yeah. below and the fucking... Exactly. Where, where they could be a problem? Because even, you know, the cops, like, there's branches. Part of the storyline of Max Payne 3 is that there's sort of a wing of the cops that are paramilitary that have mm. sort of gone off the the reservation, you know? <laughs> right. Um, that kind of stuff tends to happen in, you know, mm. South America. I, I love when I, I watch the news and see uh, police from other countries where you see the cops and go, like, you know that guy's up to no <laughs> right. fucking good. It's always the guy with, like, the white shirt and the, the right. beret. Right. And, and he's holding, like, an AK-47. <laughs> and, and he's, like, the chief of police. And you're just like, this guy... Is just up to no good. <laughs> or they're too scared to go into the favelas. I love that when the the cops are like, "Yeah, you know what? Actually, that's that's run by them. They got uh, that uh, under yeah. control." We, we we don't uh, we gave take up care of on that. those areas <laughs> a long time ago. They're self policed. Fuck yeah. that. That's fine. I don't know why you would go down there. God damn. That's madness for a game way, show. Man. I mean, game for, show, for a video right? game. <laughs> yeah, video well, game. it's got to be off that. Look, look how it looks. It's it very looks gritty. It looks like a movie. Yeah, it's amazing. Really, it's like a movie. Look on, it's amazing. And the really nice thing about cool. there's no loading screen, so it, it transitions straight from these one to another. Uh, that's great. Right into gameplay. So right now you'll be able to take the character. So over. when that get, when you're watching this, right? Uh, 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 oh my gosh! This is actually this is actually set in Jersey. <laughs> when you're watching all the different angles, is he changing the angles, or that's how it that goes? Well, right now he can change the angles, but before that was a that was a cutscene. So the game actually takes over your character and moves it along. Oh man! Right now, and then. And then releases it, so it's you know. To oh man! Fuck! What's on his neck? That's bullet holes. 
so. <laughs> but yeah. this is no time for bad jokes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. Yeah. When, when you think back at what games used to be like, and now you look at this and you see it, you see his tie moving realistically. Make this like someone had to work on his tie yeah. to make his fucking tie move. Yes, sir. It looked like just a stiff dick swinging from his neck. <laughs> We also Something have these sort of these uh, on the fly in game panels. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sir, what happened to the audio? <laughs> Mars. Oh, man. <laughs> right in the face. Love those face shots. Whoa. Cursing in the game is really you know, good. The thing you have to do is sort of the physics. So if he's got a shotgun, if he's holding a gun in one hand and a pistol in the other, it actually adjusts his weight as you run and Oh, really? Turn. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Back in amongst it to help me out of a jam. This guy's going for fucking headshots. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. man, that's good. So, and it does feel like, you know, with these, uh, we have this custom panel generator to make it feel like it's sort of an interactive comic book. Yeah, yeah. Because remember the, the previous Max Payne games uh, use sort of comic book panels yep. to tell the cutscenes. On and tell, to tell the story, so oh, we've yeah. got this thing that actually grabs the live gameplay and freezes it and puts it on, on a square up in the corner, <laughs> and then words, you, you know, are spelled across the screen. It's amazing. It's, it's fucking amazing. It is pretty Look sick. Brewer's face. <laughs> well, I'm so... It's... You don't really play video games, do you, Brewer? No, so to me, I'd last the first three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd throw the... Because everything you said for the last 45 minutes... <laughs> Sound like this to me. And then the panel with the. You just missed, didn't you? You just missed, like, gaming. I went from what you said, Ed. This is the last game you played. This is mint. Yeah, mint. No, but he played video games. Dun, 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 dun. Space invaders. That was it for you, huh? <laughs> Unless it's it has that space sound. Invaders. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Pac-Man noise. Yeah, I'm yeah, that one too. But those games are still cool. <laughs> I still like playing some of those. I'm out. But that was it for you. That's it. <laughs> you never played Grand Theft Auto or any no. of these things? <laughs> kind of fun, Dude, you don't you have, have time when you have fun. kids. This is true. if I was in true. college. I'd uh, this be all be about Max Payne three. If I was on my own, this is great. If I'm divorced, oh yeah. And I don't have custody of the kids. I'm all over this. <laughs> all the kids go to bed. I yeah, do, right? do, do, when kids go to bed, it's your bed. To, that it's once they're in bed, I go. I'm gonna walk. Why <laughs> 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 oh, the cat's licking my feet because she wants to be fed. <laughs> Because I wake up to some sand scratching my big toe. Because you're on the, because you're on the clock. Because when they fall asleep, you know they're going to be up in seven fucking oh. hours. So you better get your sleep in too. Right. But God, I would, I would guess you have crazy. time for television. People that always said they don't have time for video games will end up watching have... five hours of television. I don't even nah. have time for that. Yeah, I don't even have time know. for TV. I never, like I said, I'll let me turn on ESPN. Like, oh, and Milwaukee, did it, and it just kind of fades. <laughs> <It> fades out. <laughs> they just go to sleep. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. God. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, wow. F uh, it's 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Unless my feet are wet. <laughs> There's cat fur in between my toes. You speak oh the God. truth, sir. But can, I don't know uh, if I would ever left the house if we were teenagers yeah, yeah. and video games. Like, I never left the house with asteroids. So I can't imagine. Oh, that was an asteroid. Being my do, nephew. Do, 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 do. My nephew's nine. And, you know, it's, his mom was like, I'm very upset with the games he's playing. But whenever she's not around, no, he plays the, you know, the war ones. where it's Call very, of Duty, probably. And yeah. I'm pretty sure he yeah. played, what was the other one? This is what? Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 1. Two, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he plays this. Like, well, he, he shouldn't be. That means you Who is this? Your, it's my nephew. Right. Well, he's got terrible parents, then. They shouldn't be playing <laughs> in these games. Well, well, I think it's for dad, and then dad eventually is like, come here, it's good. <laughs> See what I'm playing? Oh, can I have a try? My, he does the army one, the which is pretty violent, too. I don't know what it is. <laughs> going yeah, Iraq Call, and call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. My nephew at five no, is call playing Grand Theft. 
Really? Well, because I was all all in, and my sister would drop him off, and I was like, well, I don't know what to do with this kid. Right, so, so you thought you got to give him a game that says for adults on No, the man. He, like, oh, uh, uh, good. Uh, yeah, he was all in. Perfect. He loved Grand sure, Theft Auto at five. I'm sure he did. He fucking <laughs> loved it. Yeah. He got thrown out of school at seven. Good job. <laughs> right. It's very I put fun. him in front of a TV, and I had checked on him, and he's killing people, running him over, all that shit. Right. And I'm like, all right, he's cool. Right. Call he, of he Duty. He seems pretty cool now that he's 13, 14. Yeah, Call of Duty. What, what is 14, that? I think? What's that rated? Is no, that, that's, that's another. A rated that's adult, and, right? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. He, that's what he was. And every oh, time yeah. we go over the ass, he's basically... <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> just blew that guy's head off. At nine, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? But, you know, uh, you know, and then you also don't think goes back to... You don't think you'd last through this one, though? No, no way. I, I would need <laughs> hours and hours of the guy... Who's sitting on the couch we here? We can give you the control and let you try. I would, I'm telling you right now, it's a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> I, 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 just, I, I, it's like I, saying, Jim, go fly that helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. I know, but it's comedy to watch you smash into things. <laughs> yeah, not even being able to walk. And Getting smash. shot in the face. <laughs> oh. Hey, can we call one of these uh, sex lines from London? Sure. Oh, what, I'm got, still looking uh, through Zoo. It says no, the uh, back of these. They... It says jerk off using Jenny's massive tits. 36 p. Oh. She loves it. Goodness, Opie. Wow. We're doing a radio show. Oh my Goodness God! Gracious. Look at the back, fucking. <laughs> look at this shit, dude. Goodness. Look at the back. Oh, look at her. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right, right? Yeah, that's all right. Oh my God. Hey, uh, breaking news. Look at that, everyone. In my hand, Jim Brewer. Yes. I got. Brewer sing a whole me. lot of Rosie and T and T. Nice. Which one you want to do first? Finally. Either one. I want to see what it sounds. Like. I want to make sure. By the way, just I'm a little nervous. So I got just lie amazing you. technology. How right? sick is that? Imagine it's like all right, fucking the mint. song was fucking <laughs> fucking mint. That's song. what I'm saying. Is at his buddy's house, Fuck. and now it's here. Yes, and the buddy had to call the other buddies. You, you download do this and send it. I'm dubbing the fucking tape. I'll have it over this afternoon at your fucking house. Tell them to fucking relax. <laughs> you got one of those boom, boom boxes with the yeah. two cassettes. It's got yeah. a fucking dub. <laughs> high speed dub. No, I'm high speed fucker. dub and twice the speed. I got a high speed dub. And yeah. get me the metal tape. Right, the metal. Fuck. I, I got chrome tape. I got chrome tape. The real, real the fancy one. Don't give me the unchrome crap. Right. Fucking give me shit tapes. My fucking player eats them. Go to the guy around the corner he's got the good ones <laughs> the guy around the corner it's always a guy around the corner uh, i'm gonna shit. start with uh i think we're gonna go with the first one which is whole i'm lot a little of nervous i'm a little nervous oh, no, i want to start a whole lot of rosie all right let me hear what it sounds i remember like. you said that you guys sound i thought it sounded great good. Oh. now remember i can't back up back up vocals right that's it's true just the lead vocal all right we're gonna go with the lead right. vocals that's all what right. we're focusing on right. here live Live version. Yeah, it's so funny. And that's another thing. It's noise. really like playing a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, a, man. You're such a kid. Let's <laughs> see, <laughs> like, the poor guys. Yeah. Wanna tell you a story about a woman I know. When it comes to loving, ooh, steals the show. She ain't exactly pretty. Exactly small. 32, 49, 56. You're the same, she got it. <laughs> yeah, you like that note being held. That's pretty good. Sick. 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 Yeah. I'm just getting to the fucking hook, dick. No, I'm, I'm sweating here. I'm sweating. Oh, no, I want to hear the other one. You want to hear TNT? Yeah, I want to hear Can the other one. Can I go to the TNT. phone? Because um, <laughs> this, guy, this guy, Josh, he goes, I get a Christmas card from Jim Brewer every year. Oh. What's his name? No, you don't know him. Oh, all right. He's saying, right. I think one of his, uh, he thinks one of your old family members lives in the house he lives at. What? All right, it sounds weird and interesting. Josh, let's go. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah, dude. I live down in Charleston, South Carolina on uh, James Island. Uh, it's Kimber Avenue. Every year, 
I moved out about two years ago, but before that, for at least two years in a row, I got a Christmas card sent to that address from him and his family. This was his, maybe two daughters. I can't can't quite remember. You know, it was two years ago, but from his family in uh, New Jersey. Is that where you live, Jim? Well, what does the card look like? Ah. It was a Christmas card. I don't know. I mean, it was like... No, you what? Know, whoa, 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 You would know whoa, whoa. what a you, Christmas... You, you, you have no clue. You get a card... You would know from a, a a guy that's on, been on TV and everything. The fr don't give me this crap. You, you'd be like, dude, sh you're showing it to your friends. <laughs> yeah. you're, sh you're putting it on your Facebook right page. On. You know exactly well, what it yeah. looks like. What does it look like? What does the Christmas card look like? It was huh? him and like sorry, guy. Two years ago, I yeah. moved out. Okay. But from what I can remember, it was him, his wife, and, uh, I, I, maybe two daughters, his dog, possibly. Uh, and you're describing he's, every he's, Christmas card. He's, he's, he's full of crap. Uh, he's full of crap. Why would you even? I listen. I know you don't mean any harm, but like, why would you even call about that? Like, that's so gay. Why wouldn't you hang on to it? Like, it'd yeah, be like, a great conversation. Sort like, hey, a famous guy sent me a Christmas card. Who still live at that address? Who what did the card, card look yeah, like? You don't even know what it looks like. like. Every other Christmas card. No, I no. Bet no one knew. He did something a little different. We always do something a little different. Call my roommate somehow. Okay. Somehow I'll call my roommate. All right, we'll get your roommate. On the phone, <laughs> dick. Yeah. <laughs> We're calling you out, man. Step we're up. We're step calling up, you out. Hammer. Remember calling people out. We're calling you out, faggot. We're calling you out. Come now on, you got to prove yourself. You know this could backfire. He does. He could possibly have your home address. <laughs> they could put on the internet. No, yeah, right. Every everyone has everyone's address. He yeah, don't care. True. He's not oh, looking right. for any bad. All right, Josh. Like, we'll be standing by if you want to prove this, but we don't believe you right but now. But still, at the end of the day, like, who cares? All right. You get a Christmas card. Who cares? Okay. Even if, but he, did, you would have. Let me tell you. More something. importantly, if I got a Christmas card by accident yeah. from Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> Gaffigan. Jim, Jim Gaffigan. I was gonna go like superstar, but yeah, I think yeah. I, Jim Gaffigan. I'd be like, <laughs> I get a card. Of all bizarre things with Jim Gavin, you look right. at, and I would look at it and like, oh, all right, it's uh, he's got this with a wig on, and his three. Ki I know the pose. You can't tell me he doesn't know he exactly. He didn't even really look. He didn't notice. He didn't yeah, I know it's your bro. That's, yeah, how, yeah, that's yeah. tricky. Yeah. Well, he's Southern. Boy, that's your, that's your funny-looking stone. <laughs> stone throw of just just bizarre. <laughs> Oh shit! I think these guys are still killing behind us. Oh, he's oh now he's like at the Nassau Coliseum. Yeah, where is he? <laughs> he's at a football stadium. Here we go, boys football and girls. Stadium. Sao Paulo. Jim, some soccer hooligans. But first, Jim Brewer. What is this? Oh, TNT. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I can't. I can't hold up my boys doing the oys. Oh come on. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, that's that's, that's forty-five year old. Yeah. It's fine. It's all right. See, this is funny. Oh, this is funny. This is what happens when you're in your mid 40s. Yeah, it's midlife crisis. That's right. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Good man. That's not bad at all. That's it really, really isn't bad at all. Pulled it off. Fuck yeah. Pulled it off. Let's do. Uh, Dude, I'll do that for you one day. Let's do ACDC. Whenever DC morning, day. whenever morning, I, I, ACDC DC show. I suck, but I'll fucking try it. I'll Come fucking on, sing we'll ACDC. DC. We'll have a ball. That's one uh, fucking band I would try. Damn. Why not? Let's do AC DC day soon. Let's with, do AC DC with, day. With, with, with Jim Brewer and his fucking cover band. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> you know, we're gonna call ourselves Chester Rocks. <laughs> Fathers of Rock. There he goes. Actually, it's great. <laughs> it really looks like a music video. That's right. Watching the, the video game. game. Yeah, Work. Like a Max Payne 3 and uh, listening to Brewer. 
Oh, nice. Watch me explode. <laughs> that came apart. That guy did come apart. Suzy Blue got blown, blown up. Hey, Brewer, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I like it. I want a dub. That was an hour into it. It was an hour wow. into it. Into it. <laughs> into it, <laughs> dick. You didn't even hear shoot the thrill. <laughs> You do shook ass. I defy you anyone me. to fucking do that better. We didn't do, do shook me all my love. Why don't you do that one? It's too gay. It's too fast. Yeah, but you got like, you got. You know, it's annoying. You got some upper demos in the bar. <laughs> they want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> they want to hear you shook me. They did. They're like, why didn't you shook me? Like, we're too cool for the room. <laughs> right. We're too cool for Hell's Bells? Bernies. Hell's yeah, Bells? we did Hell's Bells. All right. We did all that. All that shit. Tough guy. All that us on the road? fucking shit. God, no. This is, this is local bub. Wednesday nights, let's let's get, get out, out of the house. house for two hours. This stays right in the town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it fucking local, man. <laughs> What's Keeping it? the local music scene going. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's really funny is the guy that runs the bar is is full blown hippie, sixty seventies, and the and when we showed up, the place is packed. You, you you know, there's a there's a pool table in there, darts, and they sell pretzels, and the and you can maybe get one hundred twenty five people in there yeah. max. Yeah, place was. Out of control, packed. He's going to uh, see my music, man. Say, <laughs> all night. He's like, I, I, I like to know these people here. It ain't my music, man. It's, just, oh, shit. it's really loud. It's, it's crazy music, man. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want people to get crazy. They're not crazy. Gonna, we're in Chester. Don't no worry about it. No one's getting crazy. The worst thing he's ever had here is a raccoon. They had a killer <laughs> rabid raccoon. Or they have to pull dead deer to the side of the road. No, it's going to so happen. It after one more gig, yeah. you guys are going to stop being like, fucking brewer, man. Lack of dedication. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy. Not you know, taking it seriously. You're not fucking showing up in rehearsals. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, you didn't even bring a pick to the gig. Who didn't bring a fucking pick to the gig? Oh, uh, just get banned arguments. Yeah, those are going to be... Well, we're all, like, yeah. in our 40s. Fucking guy, man. We got, we got kids. Fucking fuck you. You know, fuck Brewer. Let me... Yeah. Let me get, <laughs> we're taking that out in good times. Neat singer. <laughs> good voice. Good look. Dedication. We'll show time for practice. Equipment and transportation. <laughs> no posers. <laughs> you, know, you know the rest of the band is taking it way more seriously than you. You just don't know that yet. Must you know wear no hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Good no, times. No chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Must be dedicated, even if you got wife and kids. Dedication, man. Don't be fat, faggot. <laughs> you know, what the fuck is important to you? Must lose weight. <laughs> well, that's a fight, too, because we're all, except for the drummer, we're all, you know, we've got, we got some chub on us. <laughs> you got a little, so, you know, little so guitars, she's got a belly, I got a little bit of belly. It's, it's funny seeing a band with bellies. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just, it's just wrong. Man. None of us have tattoos. It's just, it's just, that's fucking made, great, man. I'm going to start wearing the sleeve tattoos. You see those? Yeah. Have you seen them? No. Oh, dude. What they, is it? They, like a costume party now. You put on, it has... Really? It's skin color, but you can... Like a glove? Yes. And you can wear your whole arm and it, it, it Does it look looks, real? Yeah, it looks very real. <laughs> oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> All right, for ACDC Day, we're, we're getting... I'm going to wear gonna get that. I'll put on the... the uh, matter of fact, I'll do it on my legs, too. Yeah. I'll put on my oh, arms. Right on. We need, like, Bill Burr in here somewhere. And, and he's not, dude, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing <laughs> it. I'm, I'm, I'm selling out theaters. I ain't got time to do ACDC. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, oh, wow. Christ, Jim. Jesus yeah. Christ, Jim. Jesus Christ, Jim. Jesus Christ, Jim. I told, we talked about oh, this Jesus. in L.A. Oh, Jesus, Jim. Is that, uh, <laughs> that's it? <laughs> it's like pantyhose material? Yes. It kind of looks real on the dude, internet. It looks real. I'm telling you, it's great. Oh fuck yeah! I wore it out I one night, and and so you just got to put like some kind of bracelet thing on. That's all you got to do. You wear so you, it, so it blends. Yeah, if you wear you like a blend. watch or something, or a right. little wristband at or the a end, rock and roll bracelet or a bracer right. with fucking spikes right. on it, man. You, it looks real. It looks real. You all right, for it ACDC off. Day, we're wearing that shit. Uh, dude, imagine what a, a imagine what a pussy you look like though if you got in a fight and it, and, <laughs> your, and your you got a run tour. a run in your sleeve like a stocking <laughs> and you're fucking you're just sitting there <laughs> with your tat ripped right. crying the with a bloody nose. <laughs> the guy realizes you're a poser. <laughs> you got a rip in your fucking <laughs> tattoo sleeve. <laughs> you're just crying on the sidewalk. 
You're fucking a, asshole. Your pantyhose is running, yeah. faggot. Yeah, look at you with your fucking fake tat, faggot. All right, write it down on the calendar. We're doing ACDC Day. Oh, man. What else, what else we need? We need some guest hosts. Oh, that's really funny. we got to bring funny. in some people. Yeah. Who, who can, you, you want to bring in some people? Or? Yeah, let's fucking bring in some people. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. We're doing this one. Let's do it. Tats. How much fun will we have? Well, we got to wear the fake tats. Yeah. I'll wear the Brian Johnson hat. Is that your fake tat there, Les? What do you got? Oh, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, real. That's, that's true. true. Mermaid smoking a cigarette. Uh, yeah, okay. That's kind of cool, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's from the rock star tattoo artist. This guy comes by and tattoos everybody at the office. Really? That's yeah. pretty fucking yeah, we've cool. Yeah, a resident artist. Shit. Wow. Are you surfing? It flies in from San Francisco. You surfing yet? Yeah, I was surfing out in L.A. a couple weeks ago when we were out there doing a bunch of radio promo and yeah. was getting ready for a... Um, I did the New Jersey Marathon a week a week ago. You're an active guy. Yeah. What do you mean? He goes, he goes like I ran, camping. I, I ran you ran a, a marathon? Yeah, that was Do you run? I don't anymore. <laughs> I got to tell you. Yeah, it beats the shit like out of your body. Awesome idea, but after yeah, mile rough. 20, it's just fucking soul crushing. It's a, it's mentally. That's why they call it the wall. It's, I love the fucking Your snap. body's only supposed to run about 20 well, miles. Yeah, That's but, why they call it the wall. Start, yeah. Your body starts eating itself, basically, is it's, how, it's, how you describe it. I used to be a big time runner. I can't run anymore. My body is shot from all the years of running. I don't know how you do it at uh, at your age. We this were guy fascinates me. We were because <laughs> <laughs> no, he ran a marathon. No, he's 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 in Brazil or wherever he's oh, at. No, no, Laszlo lives his life. That's why he's, I love when he comes in in here with his stories. He's he's he comes from another land. He's <laughs> in like the <laughs> tropics where people getting kidnapped yeah, for yeah. his game show. Game for his, show. For his video I game. It. I love his game <laughs> show. He's been all over for his you for damn the, kids in your <laughs> game shows. <laughs> And what then is that he's running dough. No <laughs> <laughs> whammy. What kind I like of shit is that? Card going? sharks, but this one's a little too violent for me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need that blood skirting out the back of the head? Can he just flop on down like the Pac-Man days? Um, no, Laszlo's been uh, around the world. And then he's running. And he's got cool hobbies <laughs> Wait a minute, too. This is what he says, boy. When you hit that twentieth mile running, who? <laughs> And like, this is on the heels of surfing in L.A. Yeah, like he's eating a bagel. Yeah, when you hit the 20th mile <laughs> well, as he's it. sucking down well, eggs and bacon. Well, <laughs> well, let's ask him, why did you run a marathon? It was a bet. I did it as a dare. Oh, shit. With, really? uh, yeah, with the, the, my writing partner, Rockstar. He and I, like over the last few years, sort of sit around and go, <laughs> you know, I bet you can't run a marathon, asshole. <laughs> I bet you fucking can't, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> my friends are like, I bet you can't drink all this. <laughs> you guys are like fucking marathon. I bet you can't fucking really get in great shape. <laughs> oh. Oh. Because we sit around in the writing meetings eating pizza and sucking yeah. down Cokes and stuff. We're like, we should do something like fucking healthy instead of See, this. See, that's the point where that never happened to me, where people go, <laughs> yeah. we ought to do right. something healthy. We, right. we, we would just eat the pizza. Around, so but it was a dare. Yeah. He, he fucking trained, with Coke. he trained on me under the fucking radar, and then he's like, yeah, doing a marathon next week. I was oh, like, motherfucker, which means I had to do one. Wow. So then I trained up over three months, and you do uh, on the weekends, you do three-hour runs. Three hours. And here's, here's my dumbass. I would, I would come home from, like, on a Friday night. I would have a drinks on the train. I would come home and be like, time for martinis. I would make huge martinis. And then I'd, and then I'd go, okay, it's time to switch back to beer. Because you can't just, you know, the, like the fourth martini is really going to yeah, So it's yeah, like yeah, beer. Be beer's fucked. a, beer's oh a good idea. Gosh. And I'd have like a cigar. And I'd go to fucking bed polluted. And then I would, oh. and I would wake up and be like, Fuck, I gotta run three hours. Oh man, and no way. I would run three fucking hours. That's some discipline. Yeah. Because I would just stay in oh. bed. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Fuck that. What was your time? Wow. You were killing Four hours. You did oh. a marathon in four hours. Yeah. That's not that's kind of impressive. But the, man. Dude, the last six miles, it, it's you got like your music blaring and there's people shitting themselves and fucking puking oh. by the side of the road. The last few miles are unbelievable. It's just carnage. Oh. Just fucking carnage. Oh. <laughs> My dad does it now, and he's only walking. Oh, God. <laughs> That's, that's just him getting out of bed. Uh, that's him going up, yeah, <laughs> trying to get to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to take a break. We got to take a break. We got Laszlo, of course, in uh, promoting Max Payne 3. Yes. The fucking game. It's hard Crazy. because it's a visual, but the game it's looks amazing, Laszlo. It really does. 
It's out now for Xbox and PS3. Uh, Brewer's here, killing it with his ACDC cover band. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, doing the heavy metal comedy show June 8th at the Crocodile Rock Cafe in Allentown, PA. The bear. Let the bear man know Brewer's coming, and he wants some air time. All right? Uh, JimBrewer.com for all his tour dates. You're, you're going to be traveling around a bit, huh? No, I'm going to be out. I get the, uh, the, the Metallica oh. thing and a couple of Jersey dates oh, okay. to rehearse. All right, JimBrewer.com, B-R-E-U-E-R.com. All right, uh, an ACDC day coming soon to the Open yeah. Anthony Show. Yeah! Sirius XM, this is the Open Anthony Show. People want us to change uh, ACDC Day into kind of like ACDC E-Rock Day. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> whole lot of E-Rock. whole lot of E-Rock! We've just been fucking laughing about these uh, fuck, dumb yeah. tattoo sleeve oh, things. I, I, yeah, just the scenarios of wearing one of these fucking uh Just to try sleeves. to be a tough guy. Right. And then just that whole scenario of it being torn up and ripped <laughs> right. while you're bleeding and crying <laughs> with some guy that really has tats over you in punch mode All right and you're just like no yeah. or you say a, s staining it yeah with some coffee or something some yeah like lazo's guy like, it's got fucking guinness spilt on it your friend goes what you better have that checked out <laughs> it doesn't look bro, good man <laughs> nah it's guinness <laughs> it's guinness or you gotta ask sleeve. your chick for fucking clear nail polish because you gotta run in your tat sleeve yeah just the innocent uh, where are you bro oh. I just, just the you innocent brower. victim brower? sitting there, yeah. yeah, and and even just being taunted, and like Lazarus says, got the fake earrings, yeah, yeah the clip, clip, on, clip on earring, clip on earring, <laughs> maybe clip on nipple earring, <laughs> the mess that. shirt, and someone just calls him out, like, dude, what are you yeah, fucking what's what's doing, pulls man? it off his earlobe, right? Fucking, he just, goes to grab the guy. That's how it happens, though. He goes to grab the guy's arm, and the guy goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" He goes. Is that fucking right. fake tattoo? <laughs> He's trying to fit in. He's mispronouncing band names like hardcore <laughs> band names. <laughs> Give me Motor Hide. What? Motorhead, motor Hide? Yeah. That's nice work. Where'd you... Uh, the guy oh, goes to touch. It's like, it's moving. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Motley oh, Cruz. Did you see these guys? Motley Cruz? The, the Motley Cruz. <laughs> Motley Cruz is out there with... Uh, I, got I got it. With Ozzy... <laughs> Zach Wild. <laughs> oh my! We're gonna God, have fake sleeves for ACDC Day, yeah. though. That's right. We People want to hear uh, Bob Kelly doing "Titty Mountain Highway." I fucking love "Titty Mountain That's Highway." A great song. It, it is right. Did you ever hear Bob Kelly? Do I did. Do "Titty Mountain Highway." Yeah. We could play it at the end of the show or something. We're not gonna waste time when we have Brewer and Laszlo in studio. What else can we <laughs> we uh, say about Max Payne Three so we sell this properly, Laszlo? Oh, we were just talking about how because um, you know Bullet Time's the big part of the Max Payne franchise. Yes, you could do. Uh, we brought Bullet Time to multiplayer, so, which to me it seemed like, wait a minute, how does that work? It well, sounds like it could be a clusterfuck. Well, <laughs> done improperly, it would be because you don't want everybody in the whole level. Like, you know, right? You don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, you're slowed down. What it is, if you run into a room of guys. And you trigger, uh, you trigger bullet time. Everybody in the room goes into slow mo. Okay. So everybody's got an equal chance to take. take so it turns like a real sort of cinematic bullet battle. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. But people that can't see you that aren't aren't there, they don't. They they're not in bullet time. Okay. So it's everybody within your line of sight. That's pretty cool. That's a great way to uh, to do it in multiplayer. Yeah. There's Man. another cool multiplayer bit. Um, you know how when you're playing multiplayer and people will uh, take you out, like there's one guy that keeps fucking killing you? Yes. You can take vendettas out on him and he pops up on the map so you can see where the fucking asshole is on the oh, map. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I like that feature. You, you get killed twice in a row by the same guy. You can until expose I, him. Until I, get, I go up and he, he kills me while I'm trying to kill him. I, I got a dumb question. Do you guys got the copyright for bullet time? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they, that's, actually, I have seen, maybe that's I, not a dumb question because you would think them. so many other games would be like, oh fuck, we well, got the, the actual phrase bullet time. You know, it was pioneered uh, the the first couple of games that you uh, we worked with Remedy, um, and they wanted that sort of Hong Kong action movies yeah, slow mo yeah, right. kind of vibe, um, gun in each hand, diving, yeah. and so you know, and a lot the guns, a lot of games have done 
you know, the same sort of thing. Yes, since then, well, they but, call it something different. But, yeah, but the music uh, oh, is kind of cool in the game too. Well, we did like we did on uh, Red Dead Redemption, where the the uh, oh, wow. Jesus, the guy's falling with a sucking chest wound, and he shoots him another twenty times. <laughs> nice. Does he ever like stop and have coffee? <laughs> Just kind of enjoy his day. Yeah. Chill out a little bit. Just, you know, have for the, a... For the older a, guys, there needs to be a coffee uh, shop. Right? Just hang out for a while. He sits he down, go, he, reads, yeah, he reads yeah. a paper, nice magazine, watches a ball game for five minutes. That's hilarious. You would think after shooting, like, nice. 20 guys in the yeah. face, you might want to sit down and take a breather. Yeah, yeah. just, yeah. you know, a little decaf. <laughs> who's, who's this broad? She looks pretty hot. You get to see her naked? Can we get her naked in this game? You got any of those fucking Easter eggs in there? One of the chicks that, one of the chicks that we used it was actually... Actually, a oh, I'm sorry. Uh, What's wrong with uh, the girls? Hey, you're all, you're all, uh, you're all hopped up today. I've been hopped up. I've been hopped up since he gave Zoo me the, the Zoo from Hot 100. Your poor wife, she's just not gonna know what's going on. <laughs> 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 what happened to you today? Why are you all excited? Why are you speaking in a British accent? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. How was the show? It's great. We're in HDC <laughs> and uh, Max Payne. You gotta look at Gemma Atkins. Uh, yeah. That's, look at this guy. That's what's up. What? He's giving her a boost. Yeah. Up to the fire escape. So she's a good guy. Girl. <laughs> I don't know what she is. She's going to help? Yeah. What can helping. we do with she's her? She's a helper? You never know with these games. Can we do anything? <laughs> you turn on them. <laughs> right. Can Fucking we, pitch. We can't do anything with her. What can we do? Push her off the I would love it no, if she turned like, on it's him. It's not like GTA where you, yeah, can, where you can just club her over the head. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't shoot her and then you'll lose. Yeah. You'll lose the game. GTA with that strip club was hilarious. That's Max Payne. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Foreigners. Oh, uh, tell me about the music, because you were going Oh, there. yeah, well, it's, so it's an interactive score, and, in you know, there's a, a bunch of different stems and layers, and then based on the action, it will add layers as you go and, nice. and, and take them away. So it'll build. So it builds, and so it's not just like a song plays while you're playing the game, it's actually the... I gotcha. The it game's goes creating, with the action. <laughs> creating the music. The fucking... This guy's hanging from a... That drumming shit rules. That... Do -do -do -do. Yeah. And that shit builds as you... Getting it some more action. Dude, they brought in when we were down there recording. When you go into the favelas of, of uh, this game, the guys that we recorded for the favelas were these real hood rats that so they brought in. One guy was this big fat guy with a hat sideways. I'm like, what's his name? And I uh, and it, it brought him over. He's like, my name is Red Niggas. And I was like, all right, <laughs> all right Red Niggas. <laughs> Please Are you ready to record, Red Niggas? <laughs> right. he, Red Niggas God. went into the went into the booth and looked at the script, you know, which we translated from Portuguese. And he literally just threw it aside. And we had to tell him each category, like, oh, right, yeah, because he was like, you know, you wouldn't say this in the fucking. And then he, and then he. Kind of and he put his own lips. I'm still on. blown away <laughs> that you're you're talking with Portuguese people in the <laughs> that jungle could, that could kill you. Going, they have nothing to lose. This too. game is not right. <laughs> <laughs> this game is not right. First of all, we kidnap the people. I mean, that's just. That's, oh, yeah. shit. Can't you stay in Oregon and and and? Hey, Lazlo, you ever scared? Yeah, when like, aren't there? you like? Dude, no, I'm are you ever scared in general? There. You do a lot of crazy shit. Um, you've been to some crazy places in the world. Are you scared of sharks when you when you're surfing? Yeah. Have you ever seen a shark? <laughs> yeah. I was uh, a couple weeks ago when I was um, in L.A. and I'd wake up at six in the morning and go in the ocean and, <laughs> and catch some waves. And um, I'm sitting there and no shit. 10 feet away from me, this fucking fin pops up, and I'm like, well, here it is. Oh, uh, this is it. And it was really fucking foggy. So it's got that that's sort of the worst. Sh the sharky. That's, oh, that's, right. shark that's the... Man. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, here it is. <laughs> and it was a fucking dolphin. Oh, and I was see? like, oh, thank God. Because I just about shit myself. Man, that's Fuck pretty creepy. That. See, that, I would never do that. Just that alone. I, yeah, I'm yeah. not even... Just knowing the that I could be a potential seal. I don't, I don't even want to be <laughs> yeah. in that category. Like, that's why I can't even surf. You'll never get eaten I'll by a shark. I'll never surf. You'll never get eaten by no, a shark. No, it's not going to happen. It's great. I'm not going... Even when I'm out on the beach, I'm not going... It, first of all, there's got to be a group of people. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so I'm distractions never... distractions for the shark. And I'm yeah. never furthest one out. No way. Never, ever am I the furthest yeah, one out. Yeah, because you know they'll get it first. That's they'll, brilliant. Of course. An, <laughs> elevator, an elevator door isn't going to pop open and a shark's going to bite you. Nah, this ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. No. I'll go up to my waist or whatever, but if there's a lot of people, I'll go out. But once my feet don't touch... Isn't the horror of being eaten no. by a shark and 
the no. wild. Just the nightmare. No, because it doesn't end with one bite. No. It's just jump, and, and you don't have time to go, is this happening? And then you just <laughs> see the red ocean. Uh, your own Whoa. blood is everywhere. And spilling and all your There's something your that cannot be negotiated with right. that is fucking with you. There's nothing you can say to that thing. <laughs> right. You just look and you see the dead black eyes. Right. And like, you're done. I come from death. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, not like a bear where you can like shake a can full of pennies and it's like, well, I'm yeah, turning yeah. it around. There's yeah. nothing you can do to just, scare uh, that uh, thing. No, 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 Right. That's it. Fuck that. Always <laughs> hear the music. The men on the left. Yeah. When I turn, I literally panic when I see him. The only one further oh, I hear. <laughs> I instantly hear. I hear the souls yeah. of of sharks going. You dare walk in our territory? <laughs> this is our you, you're in show. our territory. Yeah. You can swim as fast as you want. But we're gonna get you. You ain't even coming close you're not to even swimming coming as fast close. as. They, I mean, they're coming 90 miles an hour under the water, and you're you're frailing at a mile and a half against against the tide. Going, I got this. No, you no, don't. don't. No, you don't. Well, they, come, would... they can come from a mile away before you hit the shoreline. And what makes it worse is you start watching YouTube videos like shark oh, attacks, yeah. Oh, yeah. and you see that one chick. Who's like in Australia? Oh man, right. getting you know, to the boat and yes, yeah. and you see this thing the size of a boat just come <laughs> and go. I'm gonna chomp your leg I'm off. Eating you. And people are just going. Well, I'm not jumping in oh. after her. There's a shark in there. There's, I, yeah. Just if she makes it, great. We'll help her. Otherwise, there's nothing we can do. You're not gonna go help someone when they're get. I always think about that. Like, mm -hmm. what if, yeah. what if one of my friends are getting chomped? Do you go help? That's a tough one. Yeah. If, it's an, if it's an apex it's predator, one. you gotta bow out. You, you gotta be like, you gotta, I'm sorry. Yeah. You just you gotta go. If you can go make in. it here, right? Yeah. Then Try to make it. If you watch those nature videos and there's like a herd of buffalo and they like, you know, they grab one of them, the rest of them just fucking keep trucking. That's they their chance to leave. They're like, time to go. Said, right. <laughs> time right. to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> sorry, dude. We had so much fun together carving up our yeah. horns on the tree. <laughs> we used to play bunk each other. But, Life moves uh, on. Yeah. 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 People saying you could get attacked in three feet of water, Brewer. Yes, you can. But at least you can kick those fuckers in the face a few times. Yeah, but you know what? It's sort of like shame on me if I can't fight them off in three feet of water. Right, right. I still feel like... <laughs> I think you could wrestle one a little bit. You could get I the do. fuck I out of the water. I yes, get on I can top hop out. Yeah. Right. He may slice my leg up, but yeah. he's not grabbing my, my chest. Right. Yeah, when you're in, in like 20 feet of water... It's dead. And he's got you... He's going for that meat on the side of your oh, fucking dude. torso. You're not in that gray and, area of this is and, where I live, this is and, where you live. Yes. Right. You're it, in all. You're all in for where this is where he lives. Yes. And, and you know what? If you bite your leg in three feet of water, you can you can live without a fucking leg. I'll, That's easy. You don't want to live do without stump. a fucking arm or half your torso. Well, no, and they gotta sew my belt because my my oh, intestines man. are floating. Uh, That's disturbing. <laughs> You've been on a beach and they're like, put his intestines back in. Put it in alive. Put it in the Coleman yeah. court. What? Eaten alive? Dude, you know what I just watched? What? I, I don't know if it was scam or whatever. A python that supposedly ate a guy. And they they found these like 18, 20 feet long. Of course, it's always in Indonesia. These poor people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just trying to make rice or whatever. And I got to worry about <laughs> pythons swallowing them whole. Making <laughs> rice or whatever. <laughs> Doing what poor people do. do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> trading off. And we the, figured out a long time ago not to live there. Yes. The white man. We're yes. like, nah, we'll, no, no, nah you, boa constrictors. We'll find another place in the world. You guys not. So yeah. there's another video you have fun down there. where the python is it on YouTube? an alligator. It's on YouTube. <laughs> and you <laughs> see him literally. Really? What they do is they. They wrap around you. You don't even have time to think. No. And they know you can't. Once you can't move your arms. Now, this guy had to. Oh, shit. It he came. takes his head. 
and he puts it over your head, oh, man. and he knows you can't move your arms. So you're literally getting eaten alive. And if you watch the alligator, Fuck he's off. alive all the way up until his tail. Where he's just like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm an alligator. <laughs> I can't believe this is I'm, a, I'm a crocodile. <laughs> I'm a predator, and I'm getting taken out by a snake. Still wiggling his tail. with no arms. He's still wiggling his feet yeah, and tail. How the fuck do you... And he's getting eaten alive. How do you get... Eaten by something that doesn't have arms. It's a giant. And moves so, so slow. It's so slow. It's just, whoa, man. My Look friend, how big the fucking thing how is. How big is that? These are two dinosaurs fighting. <laughs> what the like, fuck is this? Which one are you watching? Which one are you it's watching? It's the one with the fucking... Who the All hell right. is that? Oh, no, commentary. We don't, we don't need, need commentary. Yet. Oh, and, there it is. And you never... Oh, wait. Right. Which one is this? The alligator or... the alligator eating a snake, it looks like. Uh, yeah, the... the oh, that ball. was his friend. That, the small snake was his friend. That's why the big snake's going to Yeah, and the big oh. snake came and said, you want to play games? Oh, I want to play man. games. All right, so he eats the, the... The alligator thinks he's being a tough guy and ate the smaller snake. I didn't see this one. All right. But I know a python... Maybe this is it, but the python eats... He's not going to stop. ...the alligator. Oh. Eats him. Swallowed whole, just like he yes! Swallowed that sucker whole. Look at oh man! Look, watch this. This is the one. Look at this thing. It's wrapped up the Just alligator. Just a commentary, please. So this thing's got Holy the alligator fuck. wraps around his legs so he can't move. Takes that out. Now he starts stretching him apart. Now you see the gator. He's like, oh dude, this is not cool. <laughs> this is not. Uh, cool. Yeah, this is I, really not. I cool. look like a fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. He goes, this is. I hope my friends ain't watching this. This guy's taking me out. I shouldn't have worn my fake. Look how alligator really skin. Look at his big is. fucking mouth with all the way around Look the alligator's mouth. Look at his mouth. Oh, man. So now the python, you know how big his mouth has to be to yeah. wrap around a gator's head like it's nothing? So he's... And as he's sucking down the whole gator, look at him! You see him at the Holy end, his shit. feet... How big is that python? Look, his feet still oh moving! My oh my god, his head's way in the fucking snake. He's, he's all the way down to his feet. Moving. He's up to, yeah, he's now, down to like his back legs. This is known to have happened in the jungle to humans, where they where they can't find the guy. I don't even doubt that. And, uh, I don't doubt that one bit. And so can you imagine going out that way? Uh, is that worse? I think that may be worse than a look, shark. Because you're not going to last long with a shark. Yeah, the last bit of his tail. Yeah, going he's, in. he's still slightly alive. That say how big that snake ball is? ate an alligator. Ate an alligator. Python? It's crazy. Like it was nothing. I think at the, if, if there's that kind of wildlife, it is time to move. Like he's time to move. Yes, there's if like, that's eating you and your people, well, that's uh, where they make leave. the rice. You gotta leave. That's that's where we make the rice. Rice. That wasn't in Indonesia, was it? That had to be I like the no Amazon. I have no clue where it was. I love reading Outside Magazine because everyone, they've got like the most recent super athletes who have been eaten by sharks and fucking alligators and shit. And they had this yes. one guy, it was his, he had this bright idea to kayak down the Amazon, like, because he's a, you know, Mr. Super Badass. Of course. Him and his buddy are kayaking through the Amazon, and the locals are talking about there's a super fucking gator through there that is just taking people out. And the locals are like, dude, do not go through that stretch. And they're like, yeah, well, we're fucking Americans, and yeah. we're, you know, we're... Don't tell us we're, what the fuck to do. We're going for Ron Paul. Ron Paul. <laughs> we're going to free the world. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're America. His buddy, like, the, the alligators will actually come start, like, stalking their, their kayaks. And so they would, like, throw things to try to scare them off. They're going through this really <laughs> quiet section, and his buddy hears a splash, turns around, and there's just an empty kayak. This fucking Holy alligator shit. literally just jumped up and grabbed him off the top, took him under, and never saw that him again. It. That Goodbye. was it. That was it. Because they, they wrap themselves around you right. and take you, oh, down, hold the, you, down, and drown take you yeah. down to the bottom and drown you. And then right. eat you. Done. Oh, man. Yeah. Brutal. No. No. That's I used to watch dinosaur. that in Florida when I when I <laughs> <laughs> we go watching the Disney, watch watching the Florida. doggies and the small kids get taken out. I mean, people nonstop like I know he was just I let him in the yard, <laughs> and it, you're in you're in Gatorland, dummy. Yes. I don't want to be anywhere with crazy things that can eat you. I, I always say if no one ever saw an alligator or a crocodile. And then you saw it, you'd be like, oh, dinosaurs walk the earth. Yes. Dinosaurs walk the earth. Yes. And, and it's a monster. Dude. It's a, it's a monster. Giraffe. Yeah. What is... That's fucked monster. up. Monster. 40 feet tall with two horns on the head. <laughs> like, what? And run like assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just run like assholes. I'm going to run that up that day. That neck's going low. Right. I can't keep that neck under control. No. Right.
An elephant. A rhino. What is a rhino? Yeah, that's another one that you like. They're vicious, too. It's a monster. Rhinos are vicious. They're real life monsters. Yeah. Those are you real see, life monsters. You see the videos yeah. of rhinos uh, swimming? How fast they can fucking swim? A rhino? You, you would the never... number of people killed by rhinos every year. Yeah, they say more. That's hippos. The... Hippos, yeah. Oh, hippos hippos are oh bad. I'm thinking hippos. hippos I'm thinking hip bad. hippos when they hit the water swim like motherfuckers. I always Let... wondered who was that's the That's the number one animal as far as humans go. Who was the yes. person that took out. A rhino and grinded up its horn and said, "Oh, this is gonna make me horny." I mean, oh who's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always some those, some crazy fucking. And it's Chinese always endangered guy. species. They're like, "Yeah, you grind yeah. up that, eat it. You get a fucking rock hard hard on." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. uh, yeah. It's the fucking Viagra of the Serengeti. <laughs> yeah, they they love getting endangered <laughs> species and trying Betty. to get boners with them. There's yeah. a hippo video where they're chasing a boat in the river. If I saw they, that one. You did right? I saw that oh, one. Man. This fucking thing takes off and they're freaked out. Well, here's. There is this guy on my block that literally came from like South Africa, and he goes, and I'm like, you lived in Africa? Like what? Was he in lines? He's like, actually, you know, <laughs> actually. you know, it's really dangerous. The hippos. You don't want to be near hippo. Like, who, what kind, who yeah. kind of person you know just says? Listen, you know, it's just whatever you do, don't go near hippos. Right. I don't plan to. No. Like, it's like, oh, they're so cute. They eat the little marbles. Right. In the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're hungry, hungry. <laughs> they got the cute little pigtails. <laughs> yeah. They're so adorable. You would never yeah. think They're hippos. supposed to be the badasses of the they, they kill more them. humans than any other animal every year. Yeah, they go hippos after Hippos are number one. It's probably because dummies go in the water when they're around. Yeah, look, look you know, you video. see an alligator, you're going to be like, ah, I'm not going to go in that water. With a hippo, you're like, ah, what's it going to do? Watch and it comes up and eats this, you. This hippo is just chilling, sees a boat, and gets pissed off and just chases the boat. It's if it's territory. If, if it's the one I'm thinking of, hit that. I love watching this stuff. Nature shit. <laughs> it's always just dumb Americans running from the oh, It really is. Because yeah, in an American's oh. head, it's this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jungle oh. Cruise. <laughs> look at this thing. Uh... As we come around the corner, you might see a hippopotamus following the boat, <laughs> oh, wanting that. to kill us. Take a picture. Oh, he's coming he's right for walking. the boat. Oh, man. Look at that. He's fucking doing like a, a butterfly. Dude, and that boat is butterfly hauling stroke. ass. Holy shit, how is that big fucking hippo moving that fast? I don't know, but they fucking could swim. Yeah, and that guy's got a motor on the boat, and oh my god, there's a family. Oh, oh, oh man! My god, oh, holy shit! Oh my gosh, it's like a whole gang. Holy oh. shit! I would fucking shit my I pants. Would, absolutely. Not only that, just like you That's guys what, said, he's flying on he's the boat. On a boat. He's flying, and these things are how, on his tail. I don't know how, in a propeller. I don't know how a hippo can move that fast. That's crazy. They're all fucked up and shit. Yeah, that. Don't they have short legs? They do, yeah. but they Short can legs move. Big fucking so how dumb the fuck feet? do they move like that? Because Somebody that knows motivated. about hippos, help me out here. They're motivated. The shark hits his boat. What? Oh, man. <laughs> the water's no place to fuck around. No. It really is. It's Stay no place to fuck around. Yeah. There's two, you, you could be on the surface and still get fucked, and there's so much underneath it. <laughs> what about... What about you see in yeah. Australia now? Look at look at this thing Holy under shit. the water. You see the Holy what is that? It's a, a great shark. white shark. A shark. Oh my gosh! Look at that thing. It's beautiful. The guy's got a <gasps> fucking pole in the water, like he's gonna go fishing. Look at the size. What is that's the name? For, of that's great like white shark. Giant great white boat. shark. It's boat. Did you see that great white they just pulled up in Ecuador or wherever? No, dude. It's like the largest great white shark feet. that they've ever. Is it one of those mecha? Remember the. The, the, what, what, an Inca shark? What are you talking no, about? No, no, but you remember, <laughs> what the prehistoric fuck. ones, they're called like the mega, <laughs> mega dagogi. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I think Megalodon. That's the taxonomy name. Megalodon. Megalodon. Wow. This fucking thing, it, they're just like, hey, look at this shark. They're on a little fucking boat that this thing could disassemble. Look at the size of his fin. And it's like nobody's seen the movie. It's like none of these yeah, people yeah. have seen the yeah. movie. I don't know how this thing could just assholes. jump up and crush your boat. Well, if we're watching the video, they're okay. They get back to shore. I yeah, guess. that's true, too. So, and so ah, did. Fuck. That wow. is giant. Wow, that's a big Look boy. Look this enormous shark that the, that they just found. I want to see what it, because it hits the boat at some point? Yeah, yeah. Fast forward. And Fast forward. Get to the action. Boy, we hit the boat. Right. Like he's supposed to, like he does in all the movies. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you see a sh Maybe he already hit the boat. Fin. His oh, fin's no, like three feet doing? high in the air. No, That's no, all I need to see. see. Oh, it's it coming right boat. for him. Yeah. yeah. Here he comes. Hit, hit the Here boat. Here he comes. Hit the boat. Come on. Oh, Here he comes. He's coming to the boat. Hit this is Jaws. What? He, tur he turned away. And they said, they go, boy, that's pretty. 
That's pretty crazy there, Bill. <laughs> yeah, he's that's got a, it. Got a Bud Light in one hand. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a try. You're filming it. Stick your head over, see if you can get a close up on his eyes. <laughs> oh, I know what the hippos do. What? What? Fucking a. What? We could have figured this out. Uh, Pat in the Bronx. Pat. Because the, they, um, what they do is they don't actually swim. They're so heavy they sink to the bottom. And they, right. they hit the bottom and they bounce up. It almost looks like they're doing a butterfly. They fucking that made sense. Come on. They that makes push sense. off the bottom. Yep, because that's what it looks like they were propelling doing. themselves forward. Right. It's crazy. In the meantime, and their tails spin like a propeller. This guy saying, "No, what? get out of here!" <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching <laughs> fucking cartoons? <laughs> you know what though? That would be mint. <laughs> that would be fucking. This mint. is hippo. <laughs> Tim, what do you know on this fucking uh, spinning tail shit? Yeah, I'm a zoologist. Um. The oh, reason yeah. hippos can swim so fast is uh, yeah, their tail spin around like a propeller. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Did you get a Christmas a card from me? <laughs> hippo holler. You got to put like twenty hippo. diesel batteries in there. <laughs> it does Whoa. not. Oh, that's look a giant that. shark. Look what, look what that's what we're talking about. Yeah, look at this. Off of uh, the coast of Mexico. Huh? Massive, Massive gray white shark reportedly hooked off the coast of Mexico. Found forty nine heads in its belly. <laughs> the <laughs> Those Mexicans ever are crazy. Reported. I know While it. he's on I his that. belly, yeah. I got that one too. <laughs> his body is, it, it looks almost there, four and a half feet tall just standing next to it from from before his fin starts to his belly. Yeah, what's the biggest animal in the water? Blue whale, I think, or blue... Uh, it needed the money. money. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the blue whale? Is it the blue whale? I think so, yeah. the money. <laughs> yeah, the blue whale. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Love the dice. The blue well, because it needed the money. <laughs> you go with a video of the blue well. It's pretty amazing. I think that's the largest animal in the sea. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm going to video. Washington. Yeah. yeah. And I guess they have orca whales out there that you can go. Oh and, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Washington amazing. State. You've seen okay. it? Yeah. Yeah, right off of, uh, I haven't seen one. Some island? Yeah, right off of Orcas Island, it's called. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I've, I've stayed there, but it wasn't when they were coming through. I was hoping to see one, but. Those things are fucking cool looking, yeah. And, you know, people have this perception that the, because what? they're in SeaWorld, that they're they're really right. pretty. Those oh, things will man. fucking take out other whales. They're they can yes. fuck Great around. Great videos of killer whales. Can you go whales. back slightly? The guy just described how, how big their tongues are. Oh. Where was Sexy. it? Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. inches long and weighing over 200 tons. Mm. It's far bigger than even the biggest dinosaur. Huh. Did you ever see? Hold on. Weighs as much as an elephant. Its heart is the size of a car, and some of its blood vessels are so wide that you could swim down them. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy. Alone is the width of a small aircraft's wings. I love his analogies. Wow, that's fucking cool. How majestic. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look until, at it. Did you ever see... Until the there's a sonar ping and their entire family goes, Let's go beach ourselves! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dumbasses. Dummies. You ever, <laughs> you ever see the show where uh, well uh, gets beached and this lady's trying to cut the heart out of it? And what? she's in a raincoat? What? It's, we did the whole fucking thing yeah. on our show. What? It was hilarious. And this heart was like half the size of this it's room. giant. What was she going to do with it? I don't, I don't know. know. They were studying, you know, the fucking animal. But there's, what, what they, they basically did an autopsy on the beach in front of horrified locals. Oh. They got some uh, uh, killer whale footage where there's a seal on a little ice float. That's what I was going to say. Did oh, you yeah. see that shit? Unbelievable. Brilliant. Beyond, they would, four or five of them were like, all right, we'll just go towards the iceberg, and the wave is going to lift the iceberg, and he's going to slide off. Dude, they coordinate it where five of these motherfuckers are right next to each other. Right. They go, whoosh, 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 and then just underneath the surface of the water, they swim under the ice flow, and to the create fucking the tidal thing, wave. the thing goes, whoop, and just throws the fucking seal off of it into the water. Game over. And, it, and then they just uh, rip the seal apart. Yeah. Pe people right. saying whale shark is actually the biggest animal. Oh, like yeah. I say. Right. No way. This Blue is whale the one. Not this whale is, shark. You sure? Um, Positive. Yeah. What happens is the whales actually create a it's, wave. Look at the wave. Unbelievable. It's been seen in other similar... Fucking amazing. But the brilliance of that, like they're thinking and they know how yeah. to do this. And they just know to knock this fucking... And he's waiting at the other side. Right, like, he's just waiting. Do it again. Yet? Do it again. <laughs> Come on. Do it again, dick. <laughs> Go back further. Go back further. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. 
anywhere, dick, so it's not like we got two minutes. Go back for it! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Go back further. <laughs> what are you doing? And, and do you know, the whale's probably torn. He's like, you know you're coming down in the water, right, faggot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all just coming now. We're not going to leave. Right. It's, he's coming down. You're not going right up. You're going right in my mouth. <laughs> Why are you picking at me? Look at them. They're wow, freaking out. Right. They want this thing so bad. It's called oh, the poor it's seal. It's called it's killer just, whales gang up. To capture seal on YouTube. Oh man, big Look wave. That. Look at that. Huge and wave. Four or five. They finally figured it out. That's a lot of water. He goes, oh, that's gonna, oh, man. that pushes the seal oh, over the side. No. Oh, hang on, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, he's in the water. You think oh, this is going to end? Oh, oh, end? Oh, boy. That can't end well. I was about to say, you think it's going to end well. Oh, oh God. God. Wah, 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 wah. That, that's really smart. Did you see the one? When they come on the beach, everyone see when they come on the beach and they snag the seals. Yeah, they snag yeah. right off the beach. But did you see the one when they were finally done messing with all of them and eating them, and they started taking the babies and bringing them back to shore? Yeah, really. They start, they start just fucking with them, just playing with them. They will, they will be, bring them out of the water, toss them around, and then throw them back on the shore. Like, hey, there's your kid. Yeah, huh? there's and like, your fucking kid. Yeah, here's your kid. I couldn't eat this. I'll be fuck. back next year. Yeah. <laughs> Same Fat, time. Fatten this kid up. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Look at this jackass getting attacked by an alligator. Oh, this one's great. Gator versus scientist. This, this dumb fuck tried to, like, I guess, wrap him up with his polo shirt. Yeah, and he's sitting on top of the fucking uh, gator, and the gator gets loose on him and bites his fucking ass. That was a big gator, too. Oh, yeah. A big gator. Scary. This guy's still Monsters. blowing people away. Oh, yeah, he's okay. just sitting here fucking shooting people. This guy's in a soccer uniform or something. This is what blows me. You, you're a gun guy, too, right? Oh, yeah, I love him. <laughs> I, I, I can't watch t TV and shooting anymore. I finally went shooting for the first time ever. Oh, you did? I hit one out of, like, 40 shots. Why? I, because the gun goes... You, you shoot it, and it goes like two inches to the left and two inches to the right when you shoot it. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, let me hold the stone. And even, I'm like, oh, I got this one. <laughs> like, why? I'm aiming right at the, the bullseye. Why is it not hitting? Hitting what, the bullseye, right. What, I need a shotgun. What is not, what am I not I'm, doing right? You're probably, really you're probably not holding it right. What, what, I, I've got two hands, yeah, there's and a, I'm, and I'm there's a good aiming. Way to, yeah, well, you hold a golf club with two hands, but you got to hold it correctly. It Smith and Wenson. Uh, Wenson. <laughs> Smith and Wenson. Wilensky. It was a Smith and Wilensky. <laughs> we got, was it a revolver or an uh, auto? A revolver. All right. And I shot an auto. The auto was harder. It was really? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, hands were like I was fishing, and I had a fish on the end of the hook. I yeah. Couldn't, I couldn't keep it straight and reel them in. Yeah, you got to hold it. Uh, properly, and you you were probably anticipating the fact that it was going to fire, and it yes. gets you a little tense. Uh, you got to so just, yeah, we, yeah, you you gotta just do squeeze it. trigger nicely, I take a little I... breath, keep breathing, but you know you can't be like this is going to go boom, it's going to go boom, it's going to go boom. Yeah, you know, you'll fucking. I don't think I can have a gun though. I like the full no? Uh, no, when you go to the I range. I, I would oh, shot somebody. Those inside that. ranges, and they give somebody a full auto, and the, and it's they've never shot a full auto before, oh, and they just fucking stitch the ceiling. Oh yeah, da 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 da. <laughs> fucking yeah, holes in the ceiling. I've been in I've been in ranges where the uh, the booths, uh, the sidewalls have bullet holes in them. Like, what, oh, who was fucking that up? They do that, like, you know, holding it to the side. Yeah, yeah what is this? Is that even exist where you can actually shoot from the side? That makes no, no that's sense why, now that I've been that's shooting. That's why fucking strollers and grandmas get hit in the community <laughs> a lot of times. Because when they hold it sideways, it really it ain't working very well. Right, it's not working. You're you not hitting your target. It, yeah, it's well, sucks. that's what cracks up. If you see those bad robberies go wrong where the guy is point-blank range, yeah. It, they're both point blank range shooting at each other and missing. They like miss. two feet. <laughs> like, how do you miss the It is amazing how you. bad you get at doing everything when you're being shot at. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, really, you just become Ooh. bad. <laughs> Oof. You don't really want to aim. I think the person that comes out on the winning end of a gunfight is the one that takes that extra split second to, to set yourself, right. realize what you're doing, right. and then do it. 
and hope you're not getting hit by his fucking craziness. I've actually saw that in one of those cop videos. Yeah, yeah. Where the guy gets out of the car and he starts taking shots at the cop, and the cop doesn't panic. Right. And he just takes that one second, Split points, second. aims, and bang, shows Make up. Make sure you know what you're doing. The other guy's yeah. bang, 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 yeah. bang. All yeah, right. Yeah, it's over. You are now Max Payne. <laughs> <laughs> Brings it right around to the game. Right around. Doing... You like the way I did that? That was great. I, like that. That. I do dr Brilliant. drills down at the range, too. Where you just, I just load up a fuckload of my guns and lay them out in front of me, and then just one after another, you pick them up and unload that. Put it down, pick up the next one, unload that. Different calibers, different fucking... Do you pretend? Like, uh, do you go in imaginary he, he, Listen, he pretends there's <laughs> ethnics everywhere. It's whole... <laughs> I pretend... Hey, Anthony, um, I don't know if you look next door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I, uh, no, usually it's uh, zombie targets. I like the zombie targets. Zombies? Zombies, yeah. You know, you got that. But then the uh, the Arab uh, holding a hostage target is uh, good, too. Ooh. And then there's the one that you don't really like putting up at the range. <sighs> well, you know what? But they do, do sell gangster-type targets. No, but do you ever do you ever try, like, you know, out almost, almost like De Niro when he's looking at the mirror and he's like, you're talking to me. Talking to any, and he pulls out the two guns from the two sides. Like, do you ever? I have video of me shooting two the, guns at once. But do you ha, do you ever do that? Where you? Because that's what I would do. I would be, I would be like in my yard, and I knew no one was around, whatever, or in a farm, and I'm walking, and I'm like, you know, you be in your head, I'm like getting followed by this guy, and I turn around, gong, 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 and see if I can get him. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have you been to Anthony's like house? I, no, <laughs> yeah, dude, you gotta go. You there. gotta come by. Yeah, it's just. Like, like that's what I want to do. Be, I want to be able to go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's just guns and artillery all over the place. It really is. is that the two guns or the one? They've got you on satellite twenty four seven. I go. No, go up to the other one that you were just. No, there. they don't. They would have got. Yeah, in. that one. They would have got in a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, go to that one. True. This is at the range. Here's the two. Um, I guess this is the. Oh, this is the Wait, Benelli. What is, this? what is this? Benelli semi-auto shotgun. Yeah. You're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, on the YouTube. You're shooting to the YouTube. That's the Benelli semi-auto shotgun. 12 gauge, as fast as you can all pull right, so the when uh, it goes down, I'm calling you. Oh, it's crazy. I'm in your yard when it is. That all thing goes takes down. chunks wow. out of the oh uh, my Arab target. Oh, this is the two. That's Max you? Payne yeah. style. Max Payne style. Dual wielding. Look at, see, you see the way your arms go up though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta recover. You gotta wow. kind of drift back into position. It's amazing how your how your mouth just you just mouth ethnic slurs while oh, you do I know. It. Just, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> two guns. <laughs> yeah, it, it it is a lot of fun. Fried rice wrap. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! Did you see that? He ran out of ammo and then got the panic look on his face and then grabbed a gun. For and then he grabbed the gun from the hip. Hey, yeah, we're still going now, aren't we? I Plantation got, I, bananas. <laughs> I, I got more guns. This was my Bob Kelly target. It looks like, you know, dude, hey, now, dude. I'm here. Dude, I got my hat on. I'm just <laughs> trying to fucking hang out. I'm being shot, dude. <laughs> Those targets are great. Uh, yeah, that's uh, and then me, little me, and little Joe uh, on Christmas oh, wow. morning. Oh, wow. As little taters. They're gonna have a yeah. lot of material. When you finally go ape shit, they're gonna have plenty of stuff. Oh, there'll be, be plenty of video. The loop yeah. on fucking CNN. They're gonna have a nice package. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they'll be able to nice, put together a nice, nice package. Exactly. Nice video package. Here's him on Hannity. That <laughs> <laughs> was, was a right wing Here's... wacko. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to a place called uh, P6 today after work. It's a video range. Where they you, you you shoot at a fucking movie screen, playing videos that react to your gun. You use your real gun. Oh, you use your real gun. You go there gun. with your gun or your rifle, your pistol, your rifle, and uh, you take up positions, different lines behind cover, and you're watching videos of like um, Iraqis in the desert <laughs> right. or or guys trying that to feed their family. There's yeah, trying to feed their family, <laughs> and then you just mow them down. There's there's another scenario where there's you're at a a party atmosphere and there's like drunk guys walking out with those red beer cups. Oh no! And then out of like the hedges comes a guy with a rifle, right. and you got to not shoot when the guys beer with the beers. Pong goes rough. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wait, you fuck up the video screen though. Well, here's how it works. It's yeah, great. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, they there, go through a lot of video. There's screens. two rolls of huge rolls of paper. Right. One is vertical. One is horizontal. So all they got to do is move each one a little bit. 
and it covers the holes up that were made previously. That when you make new holes, light from behind shines through. A sensor picks up where the light is on the screen. Computer puts the picture oh, and fuck, the, the hole together out. and knows exactly where you hit. And the video will react accordingly, and either the guy will fire at you if you missed, or he'll drop dead if you uh, hit him. That's pretty Do cool. they have? Is it just for cops where they have uh, places where you go where you oh, like, like Hogan's walk? Alley? Yeah, kind of a thing where, where you're uh, walking into like a warehouse and a guy pop like a video game, like Max Payne. They have tactical um, ranges uh, and uh, uh, but for the public courses you could take. Yeah, you pay a good amount of money. You go out to like Vegas for it, and uh, you'll do stuff like repel out of fucking helicopters, go through uh, uh, That's breach, the midlife fucking crisis. breach uh, <laughs> operations. I'm doing ACDC covers. Yeah, yeah. Right. You're jumping I'll out of helicopters. Repel out of a copter and, <laughs> right, right yeah. into a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> fucking midlife Corvette crisis. With a fucking balding, yeah. <laughs> You're just some balding guy right. in a fucking vet shooting targets with a young chippy at his side. Right, twenty years younger than you. That's where you get all these fucking diseases. Fucking out with these eighteen-year-old girls. I'm surprised oh, I, you don't come in here with chicken pox. I get the crew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to get inoculated. <laughs> uh, uh, I need the chicken pie That's fucking funny. Wow, that was great. <laughs> you know what? It's not going to get better than that. We got to no. go. get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, fuck. Note. Look at the time, man. I, I brought Anthony a, uh, a uh, Max yeah. Payne 3 tactical gun bag. I'm psyched, man. I'm going to fucking. I got one too, to right? Tonight. Yeah, I got one for you. It's got, instead of clips, you can put uh, juice boxes <laughs> and diapers. Take it down. Diapers. diapers. It's his diaper bag. We're going down to business. Rips open the top. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. box for you. I'm gonna be the shit at the playground. <laughs> right. No one's gonna fuck with me. It's like is that a gun bag? <laughs> Putting uh, fucking bottle together. Laszlo, thank you so much. Max Payne three out now for Xbox and PS three. Yes. What else do you want to promote? Anything? That's it, man. We've been getting some uh I wanna thank you for the zoo. Reviews. Yes. Hot one hundred and one. Fucking nice. magazine. We didn't get to bust out the Solpadine. Solpadine. What's that? When From I was, England. Yeah, when I was over there, uh, you know, I was there for two days doing interviews and stuff, and, yeah. uh, you know, you get hung over, uh, which happens a lot, and somebody's like, oh, you just got to go to the, you know, go to Boots, which is just their sort of, like, <laughs> right. local or CBS. CBS or whatever, yeah. and get some Solpadine. I'm like, what is it? It's a fizzy tablet. It's got codeine and caffeine and all these things, and I'm Code. like, can I just give it to you over the counter? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it's just right on the box. Yeah. Yeah, it can cause addiction. <laughs> <laughs> and it's over the counter. We're completely over the Amazing. counter. It's wow. right for a hangover. The caffeine yeah. just lifts you up. The codeine numbs everything. That <laughs> <laughs> just like, so That's I, right. I went into the place and I was like, yeah, can I have the Sopadine? They're like, would you like the Sopadine or the Sopadine Max? And I was like, what's the Max? He's like, it's got more more of codeine. I was like, we'll go oh, for that well, one. We gotta we'll go, go Max. for that one. You try it? Huh? It's fantastic, dude. Yeah, is it, it good? is just... They're like meth heads over there. That's why their really teeth are so bad. <laughs> 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 You're on meth From the no, soap soap Yeah. Right. Cheerio. And fucking Brewer, oh, what can man. I say? Hey, thanks for amazing. having me today. Brewer, it's always fun. amazing. Thank you. Always oh, a God. pisser. Man. Yeah, why don't you Waiting. take a piss? I'm going to go pee. Thanks for... It was fun. Yeah. What a, I wish I was able to do video games, because... You can. Oh, Anybody can. Anyone can. You'll just... Okay. I could see you just... Motherfucker! Fuck yeah, I, this I, shit! I would. I, You'll be all mad. Yeah, I lost my fire, my belly. Oh, you my lost my fire. <laughs> you get youth. the forties. Yeah, 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 yeah. youthful fire. Yeah, it's so I won it, but I, I just I lost it. I gotta literally challenge people to play wiffle ball, and that that's where my wiffle fire ball. is. Like, I just took you down. <laughs> Try to pitch me inside. That's, that's it. That's where I'm at. So, and what happens in the fifties? I'll let you know when I get there. I have no clue. You need a good midlife crisis, I think. I, I'm doing it. He's it's called AC it. DC cover. That is true. That's yeah. the beginning, though. It's the beginning. Before you know it, you'll buy a muscle car and you're fucking. Yeah, I'm calling you. Like, dude, we're playing Dakota. Can you tell? Can you tell everyone I'm playing Dakota? <laughs> <laughs> Did you plug my gig? I'm Ask playing... your brother if he wants to do a YouTube <laughs> yeah. and uh, AC DC. Like, it'd be great. We're right. available, man. Fuck it, we're at Belmore. <laughs> yeah, right, man. I'm... I know where it is. <laughs> Heavy metal comedy show with Jim Brewer, June eighth at the Crocodile Rock Cafe in Allen. Town, PA. Go see the Bear Man. He'll, he'll hook I will you check up. him out. JimBrewer.com for uh, everything. Jim Brewer. B R E U E R. Always a pleasure. Yes. What a pisser today's been. I gotta meet with Barry, right? Oh God. He just texted you me. Poor bastard. This will only make sense to you and it's our the, accountant and a few New Yorkers. Mm. He's late because he's waiting for the one train at Times Square. Huh? 
Dude, exactly. fucking six blocks away. Exactly. Fucking walk. Oh, look, that is six Barry's blocks away. He's late because he's waiting for one train that is possibly six blocks away from here. Barry ain't walking. 42nd Street, we're 48th. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's Wait. at 7th and 42nd. And he's late because he's waiting for one train. He ain't going to walk. <laughs> really? Is he a big he fat guy? He don't look like the type of. Oh, uh, you know what? Well, he's not the, a big fat guy, but you could tell. But he's, he's just, a jet. He's not. <laughs> the jet. He's not in any shape. Uh, the it's jet. windy outside, <laughs> and I just I'm waiting the for jet. the one train. Doesn't and it's walk to no one. Ugh. Well, Why are these trains always late? <laughs> always late. Did you know the Bloomberg report today <laughs> said that the New York Mets have an all-star game? We're going to assess your portfolio and reallocate some funds. There's <laughs> something here. The Greek crisis. Oh, the oh, Greek crisis. We're counting on that shit. We have to short the euro. <laughs> I think we are. I think oh, this yeah. guy's got a short we're, against the We're euro. betting on Europe falling. <laughs> we're going to make money off. Oh, fucking Europe collapsing. Fuck Europe. But this Down guy, with the Belgians and everything. But this guy's going to be talking to himself, because I ain't waiting around if the guy can't fucking walk six blocks. No. Have fun, Fuck man. that. I'm going to go shoot shit. There goes Brewer, Laszlo, <laughs> uh, Max yeah, Payne. Holding this joke and running down the, uh, the dude that was playing the game the whole time, thank you to him. That's Forrest. Forrest? Oh, yeah, we've seen Forrest before. Yeah. Certainly. What's up, Forrest? I was going to I was gonna bring by Than, but we we beat him up bad in the past few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, Max Payne crunch was intense. Oh, was He's, it? Yeah, Than's gone gray. Poor oh, He's gone man. completely gray. What's Max Payne crunch mean? Well, just you know, when you're the, the last crunch time, the near last, the end, you got to really weeks make, before, make sure everything's right before the game's done. Right. All right. Man. All right, everybody. Yeah, I'm about so. through. Yeah. <laughs> I <fucking> hit it. <laughs> oh,